Okay, let's see if anything is broken today. Nope. God damn. Whew. We're on a strict time budget with Dyson Sphere program today. We have... We have a town hall meeting to attend to in the RP world today. In about two hours from now. Actually, scratch that. Make that three hours from now. If I do recall correctly, let me just pull up the time again. Should be under announcements. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Making it 10 p.m. for me. Yes, three hours. Three more hours till the town hall meeting. Then we'll be jumping into RP. But for now, we do Dyson. Scratch that itch of Dyson in my brain. That's what we gotta do. Okie dokie, what were we up to? We were up to making some more graphene. More graphene's on the way. We could change that formula into the fire ice. We just gotta go collect it. We were working on that. More orbital collectors we need to make. Right. Interstellar, we need more particle containers, titanium alloy. Um, we have room for graphene here, and we could belt it to where this one is. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. That way we can use a little bit less sulfur here. And have the sulfur kind of back up into those things there. So we're going to grab graphene. spray is kind of being wasted I would like to fix that at some point but for now for now I'm not gonna bother a whole lot here I need more nanotubes are we making enough stuff for here yeah it's more just these parts here okay
I'm making enough green? Probably not. Oh, I'm not even researching anything. Hold up. What do we want to research? I think I think we're going to do the the Dyson limit. And then we'll go back to the upgrade tree. Thousand. So these are starting to get pretty expensive. See, these ones don't use green. So let's queue these ones up. Anything that doesn't use... Oh, this one doesn't even use the purple. for a little bit here. Still with the deuterium over here. We need faster belt. We only got a yellow coming out of that. Interesting. We need to start doing uh, things on other planets right now. <sighs> we, need, we just need more of these towers is all. Let's see here. Thought I had a lot more of these accumulators. Oh, I do in here. Coming under 100% satisfaction, which means we need more ray receivers because we've got more than enough there. More ray receivers. stuff before the spray. We gotta put the ray receivers down.
Okay, I think we can maybe get rid of some of those ray receivers that are in the way of the other stuff. How much are we making? 392. Our power is okay now. Um, Was going up. We might have to add more ray receivers over to this end. Now we got quite a few over here. There's a, there's a lot of stuff in the way. That's what it's looking like. Almost out of coal here. How many towers? We got three regular. None of steel, man. I need more of these. Stick them off the belt. Then. for the thrusters. Right. Okay, so getting rid of the one... That one wasn't enough. Still not enough sulfuric acid.
That'll make two orbital collectors. We need to slim it up here on the graphene from this area. So we've expanded into that other area that I have. What do you mean wrong game? It's not the wrong game. This is the right game. I'll be on once uh, for the town hall meeting. I'm gonna switch over then. So only like a couple hours of this. And then the uh, town hall meeting, right? I'll be on for that. You're gonna let me uh, please my mind with this game. At least a, a couple hours of it, man. <laughs> Not you. What are we doing not getting enough titanium? That's gonna be troublesome. We don't have enough graphite here. Now we're going to find where this is being done. Tell me this is not enough graphing. All 
I would have, what, three smelters to that? I think that's good. This is a lot, man. Okay, we gotta go to different planets now. And uh, the best way to do that, I think, is to take ray receivers with me. So I gotta make more of those. But it'll be good for getting power. What's going on here? Do we need more belts? I'll grab another 300. Actually, you know what? If I'm th thinking about going to another planet, load me up. Yeah, let's get loaded up. Yo, what's with the steel, man? I need more than this. We're down a smelter. Not enough iron plates. And this is why we're going to another planet. Three on each, uh, each hole. That might be good. That might be good for the first little bit here. Because one of them, one of them can give me 15 megawatts. That'll be enough to get something started, right? Yeah. Should be. Now we just need more uh, interstellar towers. And 
We got enough assemblers. We probably need more mining machines. Smelters, right? Smelters are usually the big one. So many smelters. I still don't think that's gonna be enough though. 30 something smelters. What else am I missing? We got lots of chemical plants. We need them. Maybe more sorters. Yeah, we're gonna bring more sorters with me. So I think that would be, I think that's good right there. Have much copper on here? Oh yeah. Are these not wired in? Some, somewhere this isn't wired in. Uh, 
Schade. I come with upgraded belts. And other things, like um, pilers. Let's make a couple more of those. Launch a total of a hundred thousand sales. That's uh, goddamn. That's better. enough iron right there should be another big vein of iron somewhere around here it's a whole lot of nothing that's for sure
forgot to make more of these. Good thing I can make them. God damn. Shit, I think what we want to do is blue belt out of these things into a piler. Would be my most efficient. Which one has the least amount? Seven, 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 eight, nine. The sevens. I don't think the sevens will fill up a blue belt. So I think we can get away with. Without a piler. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep the piler. Belt this here. Pile one more time. Not even worth it. I guess I won't find out until I turn everything on what we need to change. We'll start with a bunch of plates, I guess. On the other side, we'll do... Um, Magnets don't need to be as much. We don't need as many magnets. But so we'll do half.
So I think... Okay, we'll, we'll change this up then. So we can actually do two green belts out of these. And then one piler. We could probably do all three of these connected. Maybe not a green belt. Well, most of these are fours. I guess that's okay. so we can do some uh, steel. Sorter on the other side. close to that as possible. That way we're only missing one space. We can continue making more of these. I have to move the piler back, move these machines back a bit.
probably if there's still three machines here. Yeah. I think we're gonna go back to this machine here. I think that's doing pretty good. It's looking like we're going to need more plates. So I think we're going to move this down. This is far from a saturated blue belt. Make these can go down to green. here.
Like this one can get away with being a yellow until here and then speed it up again. That way we don't have these singles. Singles here, though. So I wonder if this one can get away with being a Mark One. No. Not at all. Well, that kind of sucks because then I'm going to have those single blocks. Too much imbalance. Oh well. a faster belt here. Next, what do we have next? We could technically make some some items with um, like in a, in a mall kind of area. Um, this kind of is my computer making planet in a way, but we're gonna convert it into a little bit more than that. We're gonna have it like a a mall of sorts going on. So we can make these items. a little bit of copper that is on this planet. What are we waiting on here? Lack of research, research items. Is that the stupid titanium? That might be the titanium. Okay, we could do titanium stuff on this planet here as well. There's lots of it here. Instead of shipping it all to the, the other planet we got. I think what we could do is set up titanium. Yeah, the titanium crystals on this planet right here. Should be fairly straightforward.
get as many many miners as we can. so bright it's hard to see the grid. thing is I think I ran out of smelters. What's going on GW? You playing some more of this game? You really addicted to it? asking about the uh, mech customization. Eighteen hours straight on it? Yeah, that sounds about right. Um See, I don't know if this changes the default colors, like if you don't change any of the colors, I don't know if this changes things. I haven't played around with that. But I went through and I, I changed the color of each item, right? Because you can, you can go through and change anything you want, basically. Um, but yeah, when you're done with it, you got to make sure you got to click out of it, right? You got to click out of the part, and this stuff down here will um will cop, come up. You got to hit apply mecha design. I also saved as a blueprint. I don't know. You can do that as well down here. But yeah, you got to... Sorry, sorry if I was covering it. I don't know if I was covering it. Apply a mecha design right here. You can do custom armor as well. So you can kind of change all that around. So you can do different shapes, I think. Oh yeah. So I can add these. I can go through and add all this stuff to it. You can do a lot of a lot of things with it, basically. Oh you figured it all out. Nice. Nice. Yeah, sometimes it just, this game requires a lot of like trial and error, basically.
Yeah, sometimes it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it takes a little while to get the research I fly to another planet. But once you do, uh, the game becomes very awesome. You can get uh, better, better things like titanium, uh, silicon, all that good stuff, and keep uh, keep putting more, more into your factory, basically. this right here. This as well. Bravo, hello. Ready for another town hall meeting tonight? Of course you are. another what two more hours right yeah two more hours man i don't know what's going on i have one crazy headache i got like a headache it starts here okay it starts here it goes all the way down and it goes down the side all the way into my neck it's like a, a weird pain i think i'm dying i don't know i don't know what's going on I don't know if I'll be on for very long tonight, if uh, it keeps up, basically. Exhausted from yesterday? Of course, of course. We're all dying? I mean, hey. Fair enough. But yeah, I don't know. If it keeps up, I, I, I don't think I'll be on for, like, too, too long tonight. I'm probably going to have to call it early. Do the town hall meeting. Do a couple things, you know, with my character. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm thinking there was one more thing I was going to try. I've had two Advil and a Tylenol. And I've, tr I've taken my vitamin D. Some other vitamin I took. I've been drinking water. I ate. I thought maybe I had to eat, you know, some good food. And maybe that would help it. I've, I've tried all these things. I even... I even cleaned up. I did my laundry, and I, I, I did a whole bunch of things to clean up. Maybe that would take some stress off my mind. I don't know. And uh, it's gotten worse. So, any Gatorade? Yeah, maybe I should go get some Gatorade. Maybe I should go do that. Thank you so much for the hydrate. Just do the town hall and fly out. Yeah. Yeah. We've been spending a lot of time. A lot of time on that RP. I mean, you know, you guys more so than I have. But even me, like... Listen, I looked at my, my hours on Steam. It says 160 in the past two weeks. I've... I've never had it that high. I've never had it that high. can all go. Yeah. But yeah, I was gonna go I was gonna go try a sinus pill. Like a sinus and cold um 
Tylenol, usually those help. Those kind of help me. So. What was I doing with titanium? I was doing something with titanium. 384 hours in the past two weeks? That's not even possible. That means you've had something running 24 seven because hold on. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. It's 700 and something hours, right? It is 700 and something hours and that are that is in two weeks. That would be in half the time. That's possible, I guess. Right? 14 days, 2 hours. Oh, no. No. 14 days is 336 hours. So how do you have 384 hours? Something's counting twice. Wait, what? Oh, 164 hours. Oh, that's you. Oh, okay. I was going to say. That's a little hard to do. <laughs> More time played than hours in in the in a day. Okay, I was doing something with titanium, bro. I keep losing my mind here. Right, I was gonna do. I was gonna build these. I can actually use this tower over here. I have nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with him. kind of sus yeah man the cops are after me now too they're trying to stick their nose up my ass they smell it too will fix that. Yeah, because they're jealous. That's why. Come on, let's be real now. This has to stretch for like a little while. Or you know what? 
We could use both sides. We're going to make a lot of them. Yeah, fuck the police. Listen, I never really cared too much. I was like, oh, whatever. The police are doing their shit or whatever in the, in the city or whatever. And then shit's going on with me now and they're trying to fucking blame me for shit. I'm like, all right, fuck off. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot to put the sorters on the other side. And not even just with me. Like, um, just what I've seen recently, too. Like, I was with David and they... They pulled us over coming out of the hospital because the car was reported stolen. It's like, what? Like, how many people in the city drive that fucking Mercedes that glows? Let's get real now. Like, they were just playing around there. They just saw a nice car. They wanted to fuck around a little bit. See if they can get us for anything else. Yeah, I know. Like... Such bullshit. <laughs> yeah, probably. And then what they did with your car, like, wanted for questioning or whatever, that was, that was really stupid, too. Like, that was incredibly stupid. Yeah, the whole drowning situation too, like, oh, that's twice your friend has drowned. It's like, well, fuck off, buddy. Like, one, I'm trying to save them, for God's sakes. I'm trying to bring them from the water and freaking save them. Like, you think I'm going to go out there and, and kill people and freaking and save their lives right after and bring them back? Like, what the fuck? If I wanted to kill somebody and, you know, act sus about it, I'd kill them and run away. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, terrible. Yeah, I don't like him. I don't like him at all. Even just for the, like, the 30 seconds. The 30 seconds he was freaking, you know, I was trying to figure out what was going on with him. Like, I was trying to bring Oscar back, right? Because um, I didn't know if the EMS was on or something. So I was trying to boat him back at least out of the waters to the the pier or something. And uh, and Oscar's like, oh, there's there's a EMS over there. I'm like, oh, okay. So I started boating over to them. And he jumped off the pier into the water. So I boated over to the EMS guy. I'm like, yo, I'm right here. The guy's, the guy's down right here. This is him. And he, he's ignoring me. He just kept swimming and going around my boat. And he's talking on his radio. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to swim out here. Um, blah, 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 blah. And then... Um, and then I'm like, hello? Like, uh, are you going to help this guy? It's like, oh, just bring him up to the pier. I'm going to keep swimming out. I'm like, what? There's Like, I got him right here. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep swimming out to... Uh, out here. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then I get back to the pier and there's freaking cops all over the place. It wasn't the medic that brought Oscar up. It was the cop. It was the chief. He carried Oscar up to the top. Yeah. I don't know, I did explain, I was trying to explain that to you. 
yesterday, or maybe I talked to somebody else about it. I don't know. Maybe I, I didn't get to you. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was pretty pissed off about that, you know? I'm like, okay, like... Yeah, that'd be a good question to ask. Well, this is looking pretty good so far. We're going to have lots of iron uh, things as well over here. The only thing we do do not have on this planet is like copper. We're getting from the the lava land. How much iron do we have on here? Over 3 million. Yeah, we're good for a while. There's probably another vein that I haven't even got into. Two right here, actually. titanium part there's ti titanium alloy i know is there anything else that requires like a lot of titanium i think it's just the crystals okay then there's titanium alloy but that requires steel and sulfuric acid so i'm thinking if we go somewhere that has sulfuric acid, ocean, which is right there. Oh shit, just lost it now. Sulfuric acid right here. If we go here and then bring the sulfuric acid to this planet, we can make titanium alloy here as well. Well, we have an interstellar tower. We just need a couple water extractors, water pumps. Hold on, instead of using up all those resources, I think we're. Oh no, it's not on this planet, never mind. Eight should be good, I think. We're gonna grab more iron just in case I need it. I mean, that's a lot of iron, but can't go wrong. Do we need more steel? Maybe. We got, we got enough belts. And then we just need something for power. What can we do for power? Wind turbines? We can make 80. That would be more than enough. I think 50 is probably going to be... Plenty, plenty, plenty. Watch, I'm going to go here. I'm going to, like, forget. I probably forgot something already. figure out which planet it is. This one. The 
bigger spot here. Where was it? Ah, eh, we'll go with this spot here. What else is on this planet? Holy shit. Lots of iron and copper. Which titanium? 11 mil? Holy shit. Okay. It's okay. We'll just go with the... Um, He's perfect. Or if this is enough. I really didn't want to. Okay, we'll just move that for now. That was really stupid. enough power oh yeah we just don't want the interstellar tower in the um power it's gonna take forever for that to charge up then okay how does it work at 65 per minute these do 12 a second shit i don't know how to do math my head hurts freaking headaches 720 so I can do all these on one belt. Why not? Right? 6, 12, 18, never mind. I can't do them all on one belt. That's really stupid math. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-fours. 12, 18, 24. Okay, we're just going to do... Four, I think, is all we can do. Wait, what? Hold on. 65 a minute, right? Oh, 720. Yeah, these can all go in one fucking belt. Lots of power, right? Sixty three percent, yeah. I think it's um, number four planet we're going to on this one. 
probably. Oh shit. I missed my Oh my god. I almost screwed that up. I lost my planet for a second. <laughs> Okay, what did we all need for this? Titanium alloy steel, titanium plates, sulfuric acid. I really think we should do another interstellar tower here. Instead of belting all this stuff. Well, you know what? Belts are cheap. I think they're a lot cheaper than the interstellar tower. So we could technically just get the sulfuric acid from here as well. The only thing we're gonna need is more warpers. That's a lot of warpers, I don't think we need that many. Minty lights really make my face bright. But then again, hold on. These crystals gotta go somewhere as well. We don't have much uh, coal on this planet. Um... We're barely putting processors into this as well. Um, it's these components. Uh, we're actually running low on copper here as well. That's coming down to a better belt. I think we still need another tower over here anyway. Let's just put it down. I keep talking about it and not doing it. We're going to do the organic crystals here.
I don't like this setup here. Okay, we need the, the titanium, the sulfuric acid, and steel. I'm just gonna do steel from local supply. Speaking of which, drones. Okay, do I not have steel over here? I swear. Local supply. Local supply of steel. Local demand for steel. Is it because it doesn't have enough power? Probably because it's red, right? That's probably what it is. How's this fear coming along? It's going on silent. Uh, 1.38 gigawatts. Obviously my swarm's producing way more because I got 27,000 sales in orbit right now, which is kind of a waste, I'm not gonna lie. It is definitely a waste of materials. We got that steady, steady flow of sales going into orbit. As we can see with the bar as well, it's pretty steady couple drops here and there but for the most part I think it's been doing pretty good Making things on all three planets in my first system now. So this is um, this is kind of the second planet I'm really expanding on. I'm doing a lot of production on this planet, mostly because um, you know that 98.7% construction area. I don't have to do a lot of terraforming here. I'm getting rid of oceans and all that, you know.
they will go into the sphere eventually, but I'm not building parts fast enough for the ones that are going to die. They're going to die, right? They only have a certain life, and then they die. So if they don't go into um, the sphere, then it's kind of just a waste. I mean, I get power from it, but I got 1.4 gigawatts. I'm not pulling. I'm only pulling half of that power. So I'm pulling 732 megawatts right now. We definitely need to request more on this planet. Power situation's kind of meh. No, I didn't get the GTR, man. That's bullshit. I put in like the most amount of raffle tickets, too. Apparently there's a an Audi RS6 Avant. Um, somebody's selling. I, they put it up two days ago, and I hope it's still for sale. When I hop on tonight, I just I just looked at it. I'm gonna message the guy. Freaking want it, man. Yeah, then I have to set up a thing to make accumulators because I'm I don't have enough of them. What I'm kind of setting up on this planet right now is more like a, a mall type thing. So I can start automating more buildings in general. Like eventually I want to start automating these these towers. And the ray receivers I want to automate. The ejectors I want to automate. Um, not a crazy amount. I'm not going to have like a whole shitload of them stored up. But just a little bit of them. That way, when I go to a new system... Easy. Easy peasy. I'll have everything. Everything I will ever need. I had them automated once before. I was just going through so many of them. Like these towers, the interstellar towers and the planetary towers, I was going through them like crazy. Because I just set them up wherever. I basically just use drones. Oh, and automating drones and all that. Drones and vessels. Definitely needs to be done. And... Smelters and Mark III assemblers, sorters, and belts. Basically automate everything. I was automating freaking these satellite t towers as well. I would like to go back to my one save at some point. I have it. I found it. Yeah, I know, right? 50 grand. Oh, well. Whatever. I made a shitload of money last night, so... <laughs> I think we're just going to pump these straight into the tower. Then all our slots are filled up. So how is this going? Is this empty? This is empty. Clear.
trying to get rid of these crazy belts going all over my planets, you know? That's what these towers are going to be nice for. It's just a lot of power. But once we get more ray receivers, we'll be doing okay. Looks like we need more titanium. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna double up. We're gonna double up here. I think it's right here. Oops. If I dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's not even saturating this belt. Oh, never mind. We won't need this then. Hundred percent. The stacker things I think are amazing. Here, I'll show you what I got got it used for somewhere over here. I think, I think it's over here more. So usually, I think, okay, I'm, I don't have, um, enough blue belts yet. Oh shit. Um, but what I do have a, is a lot of green belts. So what I can do is do little sections of blue belt, put it into the stacker thing, and go back to a green belt. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can, you can smelt, well, you don't smelt four at a time, but it, the sorters grab four at a time and put four at a time into these uh, smelters here. So what's good with that is you don't need a lot of belt throughput. You just need to have it stacked on a belt and you're grabbing lots of resources at a time. So a green belt, a green belt this long, there's no way in hell with one resource on a belt. Like if it wasn't stacked at all, a green belt would not be able to keep up with all these smelters. There's no way. But now because I have it all stacked, then it can keep up with it okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when it smelts it, it's one at a time again. It doesn't like smelt four at a time. It just puts four at a time into the smelters. Yeah. 
Yeah, you still need the same amount of machines, but you don't need to stack um, all these belts in there. It's very handy when you don't have a lot of blue belts either, but... Like, for, the, for how I'm using it, it's working really good. Because I don't need blue belts going everywhere. And sorters. I can still use um, these sorters on a lot of buildings where normally I wouldn't be able to because it grabs all four at a time. Or sometimes it's three. You know, sometimes it's not stacked four high. Actually, this one's mostly two or three. I don't really have four high here. But um, there is some sections on my other planet I think I do have um, stacked four. It's still not grabbing. Why the frick is it not grabbing the steel? Oh, you know what? Oh, I still have, oh my God, I'm really stupid. Oh no, no local supply. No, that was right. Steel's in here, local supply. Local demand. And I have drones. What the fuck? Oh, why? Oh my god. Did you see this? Why was this set really low? Why were the transport ranges set? Oh my god. I've never... Like, I don't even think I've ever used that before. <laughs> what the hell, man? Does that mean this one's set low? Because I think I copied. No. Yeah, you can't really get by with less machines. You just need to upgrade your machines more. You could. Actually, you could get away with less machines if you used the proliferator spray. So this one, the Mark III spray, will give up to 100% production speed up or a 25% extra product. No, I just placed that tower. I just placed that tower. So I, yeah, I'm thinking I'm, I may have accidentally hit the wrong slider or something. Could have happened. The spraying thing actually has a pretty small fr footprint as well. So if you um, if you use one of these, they have a pretty small footprint. They go right on the belt like this, and you can put the two beside each other and everything. And you just got to belt, belt it into this little port here, the spray. After making it, it's a pretty small footprint. Works really well. So I could technically put bang, bang. Oh, uh, if I brought this back further, so it came down more. I could put like a whole bunch in a row and just belt them all the way across for all these um, things. It's pretty, uh, pretty handy. Well, so you have an option, right? You have an option. It's a, uh, you can choose one or the other. So you can choose extra products or production speed up. So if you chose extra products, like I said, with the spray, 
it'll give you 25% more. So it'll be another um, ring. There'll be another ring that goes around. And it'll work at 25% of the speed. And every time that ring hits the max thing, it'll give you one extra um, product. I'm still not sure if it gives you the full, like, see how this one gives you four? I think it gives you that four as well. Like, it's, it's like doing this all over again, but it's extra because it's sprayed. And it doesn't use, like, when it does that, it doesn't use these. It doesn't use any of these. It doesn't use your, um, what do you call it? Your resources, materials, whatever. Yes, exactly those, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could technically build more of these because we have... See, it's backing up again. So we're stacked. We're stacking these. And it's able to go all the way to the end of the belt easy. And we could probably put a lot more in there. But it'll be able to handle, handle it okay because we're stacking them. Another hour until um, the town hall meeting in RP. Okay, so we're making alloy and titanium crystals over here. I would like to make um, these cubes. I'm gonna go to my lava land for a second. When I get there, I'm gonna take a quick BRB and grab um, grab myself a drink. I think I'm doing motors on this planet somewhere if I can remember correctly yeah I'm making these motors but we're not doing enough of them here and I need to figure out why ah it would be a belt issue And a smelter issue. We don't have enough. How much resources? 22 million and 18. Okay. So we could set up... Um, we could definitely make this a little bit bigger. And we can do... We have titanium here as well. But we can, um, we can make our science on this planet and anything we need for the other sciences, like, uh, oh. I might still make red on my starting planet. I think I'm going to do red there because I still got lots of coal. I'm going to start moving a lot of things around to get more, more science underway here. So we're going to produce red on the other one. Because those two will be easily, um, easily there, especially with the fuel, getting refined oil. Um, purple, we're gonna make on the ice planet because we're already making chips there. And then this, we'll use the um, the silicon. And I think we're gonna go to another um, system. We're gonna start gathering this as well because this will make this a lot easy, a lot easier. Um, these bad boys oh god this is where it's gonna get a little tricky shit where's this okay 
I use a deuterium. Okay, I kind of have like the first four sciences um, figured out where I want to make them. How to do it all and all, you know. <sighs> I would like to get that fire ice as well. It'll give me a little extra hydrogen. Which we're going to need. We're definitely going to need because... We... Are going to pump up the Casimir crystal. Um, the red science... We're going to do the second recipe as well for graphite to get even more graphite out of the fuel because we're going to start using less and less refined um, oil because I was using refined oil to make sulfur, but now we got it from another planet from the ocean. And what else is refined oil used in uh, plastic, right? See, this is the only thing we'll need refined oil for, is the plastic. I kind of had enough. When I come back after I get my drink, actually, we're just going to go straight to another planet that has some of these. We're going to get some advanced miners. So I'll be right back, guys.
Yeah, we gotta find those um, grading crystals. That might be the closest one. Uh, number It's near the, uh, on the other side of here. How fast does he mine it? Yeah, fuck that. Oh, there's no wind energy here. <laughs> I'm like, why am I not getting a power? <gasps> oh, shit. That's funny. I like that there's an achievement for that. That's great. Oh, shit. I don't have any. Oh, I actually have 25 already. How many advanced miners do we want to produce? It's 40 of these things per miner. We'll just stay here for a bit. We'll fill up my inventory with them.
we really need plastic in my inventory? I don't even think I need plastic in my inventory. Like, what uses plastic? We'll just keep 100. We don't need those. I'll just put the organic crystals back into the thing. A little bit more on the rare side. Shit, I can put freaking like two of these miners down, man. I think it's those purple cubes we're not making enough of. We're gonna have all the advanced miners now. Mining efficiency at eighty three percent. Is that enough? Do we have enough? That's a lot of miners. That's a lot of advanced miners. I'm just gonna leave those there. I don't need them. Shit. Which system was I in? My my regular one, right? Fox Italica. I was on planet um, four, but we're gonna go back to my regular one, which was two or three. One of the, I think it's two or whatever. chips oh what oh my gosh we're actually really low on those now the titanium alloy components oh god
How many do we have so far? Three, four. These are going to be sweet. Good enough for me. Thanks, Silent. Have a good night, man. It's almost time to switch over to RP as well. I think I'm going to do it in about a half hour. Did not need to be upgraded even with the Mark III assembler. Yo, thank you so much for the bits. Why is my alert not working? Oh, I know why. My god. We did cheer at X11. <laughs> god damn it. My alert, man. That sucks. Appreciate that. 
this up. We want to produce these. Per minute. I think we're going to start getting into using a calculator. I'm going to take a look at using a calculator on this game. So we can see how many items we need to produce. Oh, this is taking a long time. See, that's 3.8. It's such a weird number. That's such a weird number. Maybe we should use the spray over here. Get rid of these first few production buildings. Move everything down a little bit. And use the spray on this stuff. That would help out a lot. I think. The coils, actually. Oh my god. Gosh, that's really slow. <laughs> See, 5.6 per minute. Such a weird number. Oh, it's usually supposed to be 5 per minute. 
But the 3.8 on the Mark 1s is, is um, really weird. Oh, what the heck? Six per minute. Is, is that accounting? I think that's accounting for the... Oh, it's accounting for the spray as well. It'll tell me how much it'll make. I see. Okay. I got We're gonna need to make more graphene. Okay, let's go see. Is it the purple science that's uh, not going so well right now? It is. Okay, what's shut down with purple? Particle broadband? No. Processors. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a problem. We're going to have to go sort that out right now. That would be planet four. So the warper there. Three upgraded machines, is that even going to make a difference? Making us an extra, what, 22.5 per minute? How come that's changing every time? difference. Okay. <sighs> More of your warpers. We're going to have to automate those up here as well. if this is going to work. I don't need to see a network graph. I just need to see how much items a minute I need to build, make. 
That's all it takes, 484 megawatts? Okay, so it starts off 1,200 units of iron ingots. Oh, we're not even close to that number. make 60 right 60 a minute Smelters, interesting. I'm not gonna be using those. I'm gonna use normal smelters. one to show me the other list. Alright, so if I were to make I completely lagged the site. How much did I say? Shit, I can't remember. Was it 1200? 1200, right? So 1200. That would only mean 20. 20 smelters of iron ingots? That doesn't sound right. Well, it is. I'd only need to do 20 smelters. Four, eight. I almost have enough to do it here. It's a little over half. That's odd. the whole system oh my god okay um entire cluster 1700 oh my god there we go that's the number i'm looking for god damn I was, so, I was looking on the local planet and it wasn't getting to me anywhere
this is just a waste. That's a waste. Waste of coal, waste of everything. Okay, we got more iron here. I need to mine it up. I could mine it up and just set it in this thing. Uh, look at all the graphite. Mm. of other things do we need to make? Lots. I could just destroy everything. <laughs> I should do I should do like a smelting planet so I can make enough of this stuff. And then do a little extra for all the other things I want to build. Achievement for something to do with this. Silicon ore. How do I get silicon ore from these stones? Six. So at one point does this become like useless? Where I go, okay, yeah, we should just cover up that that vein. Wow, we're full on deuterium. God damn. I think I think we're gonna call it here on Dyson Sphere. We're gonna head on over to the RP world because that's that's where the town hall meeting's gonna be happening and mm, fuck I'm tired. I'm gonna change okay. I'm gonna change my lights some way. Get out of here with these dark lights. Making me feel like it's bedtime. I'm gonna go over to um the RP because we got a town hall meeting in about half hour. About half an hour. So, uh, we're going to do that real quick. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter stream tonight. I'm going to get off a little bit earlier than uh, usual today. I just want to do this RP stuff. Spend a little bit of time on there. Um, I'm going to see about buying this one car.
and we'll be back for more Dyson Sphere, obviously. Um, more than likely next stream. Oh, is this going to be stuck on that? Come on. The fuck is going on? What did I just join in on? What's going on in the Twitter? Hello? Uh, hello. What's up? Nothing much, just getting the ride, you know, polished. Oh, I feel you. Let me out the freaking door. Holy shit. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, head down to the courthouse a little early. Go ahead and right. uh, get a good spot. Oh, shit. Oh my god, why is my thing not covering? Oh, you mean that land boat? Yeah. Um, can I just message somebody without... Yes. Oh my god, I can't type. Oh my... Fire me! What the fuck am I doing? I don't know the name. Rolf? Is that his name in game? I hope it is. I fixed this car. I 100% fixed this car. There's no way I'm going to make it to the garage. Is 
anybody near the house? <laughs> I'm gonna need some assistance. Fuck me. Yeah, what's the problem? I'll head back down. I, I need a repair kit. You know, a Renegade LTD's got them on sale right now for 2500 Yeah, the, I, I'm stuck on the side of the highway. Postal? Uh, 815. Yeah, I had to walk from our house all the way to the okay. docks. I'm coming from the water and there's my boat over here. You got a repair kit on you? Thank you. Do you want to come fishing or? What? Do you want to come out fishing with us? No, not right now. The meeting's going to be soon. Yeah. Go to the shop and get your fixed. What do you think I'm doing? What the fuck? What do you think I'm doing? Yo, come out fishing with us. Go get your car fixed. What do you want me to do? Ten things at once here? God damn. But hey, you work here? What's up? What's going on? Oh, hey, is that David? No, 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 it's George. Hey, George, you work here? Uh, kind of. Not not exactly. Uh, I was going to see if you could fix my car real quick. Uh, I could definitely fix it. The engine? Or... Okay, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here, let me get mine out of the way. We're uh, heading to sale right now, and then we're heading towards the town hall. I've never fixed another person's car before. Alright, let me hey, see. Hey, how's it going, man? My name's Lex. I, I think I met you once. Before. Oh, yeah, yeah. You came over here with the steel and all that good stuff. Stealing? No, the steel and the parts and stuff. The big oh, truck, yeah, right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Right? <laughs> yeah, I had a car from the other side of the highway earlier and hit me head on and fucked my shit up. Damn. I don't know what the fuck that jackass is. Some people are crazy out there, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's take a look at what we need here. 
Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, your engine's definitely uh, needing some work done to it. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much to charge this guy. back to the town hall meeting and uh, so, uh, he yeah. was in here, pulled in, I was like, fuck it, I need to get my shit fixed. <laughs> you don't happen to have any Steeler uh, stuff on uh, you? Check. I don't have any steel on me. I might have some crap steel on the car, but it'd be like four or five, maybe. It's not much. Yeah, no worries. I just wonder, you can you can either trade the parts and uh, I won't upcharge you, or I'm going to have to charge you. I, don't, I gotta figure out how much I charge you here. Okay. For the parts. Well, I can, usually it's around five grand usually to fix the car. I guess I don't know. If it's like damaged head. Well, let me do 6,000. Oh, I just. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Honestly, don't you even know how cash? to do this. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll invoice okay. it myself. Uh, my you just pay me 6,000. We'll just go with that. I'm actually having to hit your ride myself. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Kind of spend the moment. Who, who are you with? You with Bob? Let me just double check. Just double check that motor is good on the... Okay. Here, let me see. Oh, yeah. It's good to go. 100% there for All you. All right, dude. All right, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Huh? Have a good hey, one. You with Bob? Hey, you too. I'm about to be here. Can he pick me up? Um, Where are you at? I can send you my GPS on the phone. Is, are okay. you in the water or what? No, I'm on a beach. Re I'm really close to you guys. Um, what the? Oh, create invoice. Where did my invoice go to? It said it, it invoiced me, right? Location. I don't know anywhere. I swear I did it to myself. Did I not? So it looks like this shows all the... Oh, I see you guys. Wait. I don't, I don't know how to do this. I'm going to have someone else show me how to do this. Um, I'll use a 6,000 myself to go get the materials. Shit, I gotta repair my car too. I don't think I have enough parts for that. I'm gonna have to go on like a mining, a mining thing here. going on which is okay I'll, I'll do the whole mining thing
go see if the car wash will fix my door and all that good stuff. Someone remind me I gotta do some mining after. Yes, thank you. It's not the boat. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Didn't do that. Right, you said you were at the town hall? Yeah, we're at the... We're at City Hall. Or at the courthouse. No, well, there's... Bones back there. And there's one guy... I figured there'd be a crap ton of people here already. What? Oh, we gotta be taken over to the. I can't park outside here. Yeah, you want to park at uh, Garage A, and then a limo will come pick you up. All right. Man, I could have walked over there.
I'm ready to start walking over there. I ain't waiting for no limo. There's Aiden. Oh no, here they come. Yo. What's that? Not much, just waiting for the limo ride. doing pretty well. Let's see if anybody else shows up with it. it just hit it. Oh, looks like a bike's oh, yeah, inbound. How's your evening going? I'm not too bad. How about you? Pretty good, pretty good. Hey, you need a ride. Sure, Pops. Uh, hop on you. There's free champagne in the back. Enjoy. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah. You're going to have to suck it down quick, though. Ah, uh, I thought maybe I had some tuna on me as well. <laughs> Next time we'll try and include some, uh, maybe other enjoyable things. Oh, if you ever need any tuna, you know, just hit up the Renegades. Uh, I think I have enough tuna. <laughs> Somebody shoved one in my uh, fucking stock yesterday, evidently. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Appreciate the ride. Thank you so much for the ride. Absolutely. Hello. Hey, you're finished. What's with all y'all doing the whole tuna thing? I mean, or you could be up on the camera. Well, he was responding to an accident of the EMS oh, person that had come to the house to save my life because I got sucked into the tail rotor of a, you know, helicopter. Oh, snap. Yeah, my cousin needs to learn to put his fucking seatbelts on. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be this website called Rotten.com and they had a picture where someone's head met the, the tail end of a helicopter. It was wild. That's a Seems horrible like a website. Little... I remember that. Yeah, they had all kind of like they had Kennedy autopsy pictures. The one that turned me off though was all the worms coming out of the latest bomb. I couldn't eat spaghetti for six months. What the fuck just happened out there? Is it Hope nobody has to go pee. Something? She's a gusher. Short peach. But not that far. You look good in black there, Ren. Well, I, I thank you. Up. Uh, in the courthouse by the uh, <laughs> by the big camera, just watching everything. Oh, is that the cameraman? Uh, I don't see any in the courtroom. I don't know. They just let everybody else go. So, George didn't put her aside. They got him punished. 
I don't know. I parked in the uh, garage and got shuttled over here with uh, Aiden. Any lawyer worth their way smokes cigar, you know. Aiden, do you have anxiety in the courtroom? Is that why you're smoking? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got shit after this, bud. No fucks given after this. Damn. <laughs> Aiden threw Come down on, on the ground. The media needs, uh, no fucks given. needs a little help every now and again. Here, better yet, I'm smoking another one just to think about it. Keeping up with all your crazy chases. Oh. Yeah, those cops better not be over here. They can stay over there in the, in the corner. <laughs> because I don't have access to that camera behind me. I have access to this one. Hey, size isn't important. Hey, it's how you use it. Sorry that you're a two-pump chump, but you know. Yeah, goodbye. Free secondhand detective. smoke here. Come get your free secondhand smoke. Hi. <laughs> <It's a little laughs> <child. laughs> Is that the judge? Uh, shit. No, I was waiting for the moving the blunt. What about? There's a little child over there. What in the <laughs> is that? Oh my I can't god! Even point straight. <laughs> I can't even point straight. I'm not baked. That's baked. Is it that Dennis? Oh oh Dennis the menace. Maker. No, it's that little wooden a person. Grew. Oh my god! What Pinocchio? the heck? Grew. No, grew or whatever. Why are you grew. sitting inside people? Oh. Yeah, that's good. I'm grew. Yeah, grew. Yeah, apparently I am. I'm grew. Here, let me see if we can scooch over a little here. Whoa. Oh, you trying to sit on my lap? <laughs> Ooh, hey, 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 this is the vanilla unicorn. Settle you down, settle about down. The first thing it pops up. <laughs> Looks like you're sitting on my lap. Weird. <laughs> Are you uncomfortable, Aiden? <laughs> Just have another He's smoke, Dan. I don't know about you. Sometimes you 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 got me questioning things. Just take <laughs> just take some acid, and uh, you you won't care about anything that happens to you. Lap, no hey, lap. Hey, I remember the boat last night. Okay, I remember <laughs> the boat. <laughs> How happened with the boat? Did George touch your rod, Aiden? It'd be easier to list the things that didn't happen at the boat. There's <laughs> <laughs> a smoking skeleton in here. He's cool. Or it's cool. The sheep. They? Now, where would a skeleton be? My warrants. No, I'm just playing. I was kidding. <laughs> Not anymore. I have to pair of those. Yes, that's that talking Doggy. dog again. Ren, if, you, if, you're, if you're wanted, um, <laughs> call me. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna fence it. We gotta watch him. Get the dick. Hey, Ren. Yeah, I would love to swim here. Oh, I did, yeah. <laughs> I have to bring one to fish, you know, before I catch them. Oh, you dirty dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that. Oh.
Did one of the cops come help you? I think Raven's nudes came your race. I agree. We report only real I news. think that cop crop dusted us. <laughs> that is not a lie. Everything we have reported has been the truth. Your detective promised you a piece of art and chiefs shut it down, so blame them, not us. Yeah, you're all right. Sometimes. Oh, was that the detective was beating up someone? That sounds about right. Is that verbal <laughs> abuse? We were asking throw... facts because a man Let me throw was one of these real... down in the cells asking for help. Which one of these cops is talking? That Groot is yeah, so... Probably. I don't know, but... I just want to pick it up and hug it. It's Groot. I dare you to carry it. I'm ready to, I'm ready to say shut the fuck up. I wonder what that would look like. It'd look like you'd have a little rag ball over your shoulder. <laughs> you like a parent saying on shoulder. Little Woody. He's so cute. What the fuck? <laughs> Give that dog a bone. He was trying. He's though. already missing a bone. Somebody break out the peanut butter. Already got one. He's missing the Cossack. The Cossack's, Cossack's bone. Hey, what's up, now? Oh, there you go. Ooh, oh, my Groot. gosh. Groot got better. Okay. What type of growth hormone now you got back taller. there? Looking good, Groot. You grew. You got big. Next, we'll be hey, Groot. Like all. The entire town hall meeting, all he's allowed to say is, I am Groot. I am Groot. We are Groot. We just all nod in understanding. <laughs> oh, hell, Holy you're shit, Superman. Superman. <laughs> Put the kryptonite away, boys. He becomes powerless. I mean, I'm sure he can, you know, give you a hard. Oh, that's total that. like Marvel versus what is that oh, other man. one that's shittier than Marvel? DC, DC, <laughs> DC, yeah, DC picking on the, the Marvel yeah, universe there. Bro, I told you we shouldn't have smoked that shit. <laughs> Dude, I got too high. Oh, I was halfway hoping he would turn into a bigger Groot. Round See, two, ding, ding, ding. Skeleton that was smoking. And Superman. Oh. Ooh. Groot is over here Do that walking. walk, Groot. I know somewhere Shake you might be able to work. Little, Shake your little tushy on the catwalk. I hear the VU is hiring. Give my money. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh, dude. A piece of candy. <laughs> candy. Groot's a little prissy. A little frisky. Man, we had more people last time, I think. You know what I mean? I mean, then again, you know, Monday night. Everybody it's a weird smoke. Weird time. I have a meeting here. Uh, thanks for showing up, everybody. That was for 
seconds. We're just waiting for one more admin to show up. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll also, there. somebody here. Oh, there he is. Oh, he grew. Oh, god damn. Um, some here yeah, said. has their microphone next to their speaker so we can hear each other again. Echo. I'm done, evidently. I just keep looking oh, at the shit. Man, over there. Look at them. Oh, <laughs> goddamn. Look at the dog facing the bone. <laughs> that dog gonna be set for life. Right? Group got a big old forehead. <clears throat> That's my dog Cujo, guys. He, uh, you might have been mauled by him if you came to the shop. I'm sorry. So, first thing, I'll just go ahead and start announcing uh, outside over there. There is a car that will be won at the end of this. Kind of seems like it might be one of the things we just do at the end of any of these meetings. Uh, and the cars are going to range anywhere. From really nice to who knows, maybe really shitty. But I just wanted to let you guys know that we will have a giveaway. Um, so make sure you stay around. And if you win, congratulations. If you won last week, I'm not going to let you win again. <laughs> so. Wait, what? Why not? But. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just the way it is. Um, just while we're kind of waiting here for. The last of us to arrive. While we wait, we'll do some quick introductions. Uh, so I am Paddington. Nice to meet you all. Thanks for coming. Thanks for spending the time with us today. Hello. All right, I'll go next. Everybody else is coming back. <laughs> Um, I am Highlander Mac. I am part of the staff as well. Uh, I hardly get in and do anything. Highlander needs uh, to work at the VU. Get it on, Groot. I'm Tad Boo. I do the real estate and uh, just community work. I'm Ren. I'm over the, you know, anybody that wants to start up a mechanic shop shit uh i show you guys how to do it how to work it and yeah i'm pretty much around all the time um then yeah we have steph he is master at afk um so <laughs> he's behind me hiding he was going to be the one to start everything off, and I'm going to see if I can uh, go ahead and get somebody to say what we're talking about, so uh, I can just start it off. All right. So, can everybody hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Everybody back. And you cannot hear me. Hey. All right. So uh, we just kind of wanted to start it off again. Want to thank you guys for everything. Seriously, it means a ton to see you guys in here. Um, you know, some of you every day. You know, some of you kind of, you know, we see a little less often than others. Completely understand. But, you know, everybody in here, really, it means the world to us. Um, one thing that I do want to say is, is, you know, start thinking about things. We're going to ask you guys some, you know, questions at the end, you know, to be able to kind of explain to us what you're looking for. Uh, one of the big things that we want with the city is you guys to help us make decisions. Okay. Um, you know, the city's not going to grow and really kind of mold into what ultimately we all want as a collective unless we hear from you guys. And honestly, do not hold back if there's anything, you know, um, maybe Superman, you know, 
is an asshole and you want to let everybody know, hey, you know, go ahead and do that. Um, you know, we really want to take in everything that you guys say. We take it into consideration and we try and, you know, we're going to try and do the best for everybody that we can, you know, and, and most of these things, it is going to be majority rules. Um, you know, we're not going to run a dictatorship uh, unless I don't like the decisions you guys made. And I'm going to change them anyways. Um, <laughs> that was a joke. So, but no, um, you know, we do want to make sure that, you know, we kind of push this direction that the people that we have playing want it to go in. Um, kind of talking about that, I know, um, you know, from, you know, four or five months ago, six months ago, I can't even remember when we actually opened this live to when we had Start. pretty much, um, I don't know violence. why everybody punches each other. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. You know, one of the things that, you know, we, had specific rules for groups to kind of start off because no, be safe over here. you know we had a low population we're really starting to grow and want to thank everybody for that um, but we wanted to open it up to all you guys to see you know right now our group you know our gangs quote unquote whether you're a family a gang um, a collective whatever you want to call it uh, right now the max is at 10 we wanted to kind of throw it out to you guys if you guys thought um, you know maybe raising the level to 15 is something that y'all want if it is we wanted to take a group vote right now and kind of go with it from there so if you are in favor of lifting the limit to 15 please go ahead and stick your hands up in the air like this and also stand up certain games all right so let's go over here if i can remember how to count did you say did somebody say, what are gangs? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Uh, I really don't need to count, so it looks like we are going to raise limits to 15. Um, the next vote, I um, wanted to ask you guys, you know, as far as the money wash system goes, if you guys are in favor of leaving it the way the money wash system currently is, or if you would like to see some sort of a change to the money wash. If anybody could, I see some of you guys still have your hands up and are standing from the last vote. All right. Uh, if you guys want to see a change to the money wash system, please raise your hands and stand up. I don't really. What would the change entail? Uh, uh, that's going to be something that we really have to look into. Um, we really don't know because it's going to be, that's right. going to be a very kind of long and drawn out thing uh whether it become you know maybe give i mean i don't know ap would you want to kind of move it on that one yeah, we've, we've discussed this as admins uh for the last couple of days and there are i don't know maybe five to six different options we're thinking of but it's a very large impact potentially to rp we want to make the right decisions so the, before we get into all that and spend a lot of time figuring that out um which we could also spend time fixing bugs in as well bear in mind we want to kind of understand what you guys want. So if you want to change it, we'll look into it. If we don't, if you don't then we won't. Oh, I mean, I think we would like uh, to see what you guys have. So, so yeah, one of the options, there. I'll just kind of give you an idea. One of the options was to kind of move it towards all NPC washing, um, where you guys just take your dirty up to an NPC and have it done. Um, you know, that's, I'm not going to really talk about it too, too much because um, it does, of course, involve certain people that I know, but I just want to see, you know, if you guys currently like it the way it is, um, we can move to like more of a, all kind of, basically you go to a wash, to get it done um, to, you know, we could open it up to possibly another gang being able to do it. I know currently it's kind of where every gang is doing it and has the opportunity to, um, but we would cut it to maybe just a few gangs having the ability to do it, things like that. Or if you guys have any ideas of how you would like it to go. You I personally dissent against the NPC because I feel like having to wash your laundry creates that role play uh, experience. Okay. Unless, because... like, watching laundry is, like, a burden for admins, of course. No. 
I noticed no, there especially are some with the way we have it set up now. That's why it's the way it is, so it's not a burden. Okay, good, good. Wait, I noticed the there back? are some uh, stations in already. I mean, maybe if you yes. rate some of those rates individually on some of them in some of the locations, something like that, relocate. I don't know, because I only know one myself. So There's only one. Yeah. So this is what gotcha. I was thinking. Maybe make it a mission, so like you know, you have a chance of losing it all or something. You know, it has to have a little bit of a risk, and you can create some RP for the police. You know, maybe they could chase you down or something during the mission. Because you, let's just say you have like 200k duty or something, you could risk it all. You know, it's not. It shouldn't be something all go clean in your. That's, it. you know what I mean. So there has to be a little bit of a risk, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, these are all fantastic ideas. We appreciate it. Uh, so. Hmm. We want to understand um, how critical is this to you guys? Is this really impacting the, the way it is currently? Is it impacting the server? Mm. Nope. Um, and uh, bear in mind, when we, when we launched the city, uh, we never planned to keep it um, as it is now forever. We'd always plan to expand it. Um, but if it's impacting gameplay and impacting your experience, we want, we'll definitely look into changing it. So that's kind of where we're coming from. I kind of enjoy the way it's at right now in a, in a yeah, way, definitely, with the RP style and everything else, definitely. Yeah, it's up to the, you know, the cops to take the money with their money to investigate if they want to. Right, they take it, the whole nine, yeah, I mean, that's the risk, you get caught with it, it's confiscated, anything like that, so. So is so, there a way we could make it where the leaders of the games could wash? Because I feel like that would give a advantage to those who are in the heads of gangs, but also spread the responsibility out from it just being one person washing the whole city's money. So that's kind of how it is set up right now. Um, kind of the way it's set up while it's that you, basically the gang leaders have to have the money to begin with. Um, it is kind of set up to where the end all be all of washing is somebody that nobody mentions. Um, just know that person does not utilize that for things. Just going to throw that to the everybody's knowledge. Um, but it's set at that because really, one, it was a measure of us to be able to kind of see what was going on with the economy of the city. Um, because all of a sudden, if you, you know, this person notices that somebody's bringing 10 million dirty every two days, you know, something's up and we have to figure out what it is. Um, so that's kind of just one of those welcome if you'd like to step over there somewhere um, so that's kind of how it is right now set up to where it's the leaders of the gang that are bringing it to this person to ultimately get it washed in that manner But would would an option of um, somehow using utilizing businesses to do that? So it's definitely something that we can look into. I think you know, so uh, RP as well too, because then you know if it's traced back to a certain business, police can you know, look into that. And right. That. Can't really hear you back there. You. So I said, um, I mean, like, um. Uh, create some RP to you know police if it's linked to a business or something you know they can start investigating and stuff like that. Maybe yeah. they can look into invoices and be able to like you know like well you know there's more money you know like I don't know just some RP stuff. So yeah. Uh, so actually, you can appreciate there are lots of ideas and lots of different ways we can do this. Um, this is what we've been talking about for the last uh, few days. So we really we really want to know um, should we look at changing the washing system right now? Um, or should we put it on hold and come back to it at a later date? Maybe when the population's bigger or there are less pressing things to work on. I think so there's other that's things. What we're asking you guys. Like I said, I enjoy the way it is now. But like he said, maybe implementing it to where we can wash through businesses and things like that somehow, some way in the future, that would be kind of cool. Well, there's nothing stopping a business from being like, you know, you can pay this and clean or that dirty, is there? No. Well, no, right. like, yeah, 
that, but that's just a stupid one. I mean, like, a, a, a functionality where in business you can put dirty money over time and clean it slowly or something. Oh, uh, okay. It comes back clean, but, you know, it's there's there's some sort of way that, the, you know, it can be, it can be tracked. Uh, yeah, if someone was to look like audit on it. Or have the option if you're invoiced for something where you pay X amount more with dirty. Um, and that could yeah. push yeah. through yeah. the businesses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be good. Pay with dirty money, but it would come in line with, like he said, percentage. So. Okay, no, These are not. definitely all good ideas. Um, just to say this, those are things that may not be able to be done. Right. So, you know, we have to work within a realm of a system as well. Um, you know, so that's, we're trying to work within the realm of the system. So again, <clears throat> we'll do the vote again. If you think that right now, um, one of the more pressing issues is how the wash system is. Um, and you want us to basically look at that right now and Instead of some other things, stand up and raise your hands. If what? Oh my god. I totally was daydreaming. Two. All right. Moving on. Um, so here's kind of one of the things that we're trying to we really want to kind of push this with everybody. Um, going OOC. You know, we, we really want, I mean, this is, again, I kind of gave a spiel last week, um, or somebody I know gave a spiel last week, and or two weeks ago, whenever we did this last. You know, going out of character is something that we really want to keep at an extreme minimum. Um, this is a role play server. Uh, everybody kind of is playing somebody that they want to be, or aspire to be, or despise. And, you know, we just want to make sure that everybody gets the same you know, enjoyment out of all of this. So we ask that in any situations, kind of this is one of the big things. Sometimes people can do quote unquote fail RP, all right? If that does happen around you, please be the bigger person and try to keep the scene and the event going as long as possible. Once everything is over, you know, you do have the opportunity to one, let some of us know or two, go and talk to the other person one of the biggest things you know feel free after everything is said and done if you don't feel like it was basically good rp go up to the person you know talk to them about hey you know this is this is kind of how i thought you did this you know it's it's one of those things we are contemplating anytime that we do get a ticket between like group that have fail rp i might just have you guys get into a discord we'll discuss it you know and, and kind of talk it through um, but we really do want to make sure that you do not go out of character for any reason. Try and maintain your character. Um, push through any kind of event. If the police, for example, smashes you head first while you're running, you know, just play it off. Just, you know, oh gosh, your neck's broken, something like that. You know, just, just get out, enjoy it. And then after everything's said and done, you know, go back to Chief and tell him he's ass. You know, that, that, that's something that you can always do. Um, Call me, we'll sue them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. exactly. You know, there's, there's usually ways in character to be able to go through this. And now that we are going to be working towards having a lawyer system, um, that's one way to do it. You know, hit the police department if it's against them in the pocket. Um, you know, but it's always, it's always one of those things that I want to go be. You know, we want go make a snack. To maintain their character. Um, this, this is something. I think I'm I've gonna, said before, I think people, I'm gonna get up because it's gonna be recorded and all that stuff anyway. Want. I can come back to this. And always, please be oh, cognizant of on. what other people possibly want. You know, try not to. I'll be right back, guys. Other people's times just because you're, you know, upset with the way something happened. Talk about it after the whole scenario was over. So I have a question for you. Yes. With RP, if someone fails RP because I, I know at least one person, maybe more, has failed RP by doing joining RP in one character and then switching to their cousin when things don't go their way. I know there's supposed to be a 15-minute limit, but is there some other way that we can combat that? I'm wondering about that, um, 
So say that again. So no, no, not you. I heard you. Okay. I didn't. I didn't hear Miss Whisper over there. Hey. <laughs> there you go. Use your outside voice. I said I'm wondering about that too. Okay, about like the switching to another character kind of thing. Yes, yeah. because there's definitely instances where, you know, I'm the admit some stuff, police go fuck yourself, um, where we will be RPing with someone, they come back as a legal job, per se, and then they'll try to take it out on those people who did the RP with them, and I don't think that's A, right, or B, RP in any way. You're 100% correct. Um, that is something... And we do recommend that you always recording things, okay? Um, one of the hardest things when people come to us and say this was fail RP, this was fail RP, uh, and we have no quote-unquote video bad. evidence of anything, it's, in my head. it's very hard for us to be able to go to those people. And I'm not even saying it's, it's, you know, when it's something that's so horrible or anything like that that, you know, I mean, yeah, that's pretty messed up to basically just switch and go, that's metagaming. Um, you know, you are not supposed to do that whatsoever. Your cousin has no idea what is happening on your current character. Um, they should really have no involvement whatsoever with them. Um, so that's that's kind of one thing that you know, we definitely don't want to happen. And when we do have video evidence or anything like that about it, and you bring it to us, we will go and take care of that. Um, I do know we have people that do stream so that's you know that's always really helpful because we can go back and kind of look at it um and we've had people you know bring us video evidence and things it's, it's another thing you know if you are recording that's really nice you know anytime something happens having that video evidence is is so important and i understand not everybody's gonna be able to do it and i get it but just understand that when it's a he said she said kind of thing it's extremely hard for us to you know kind of come down on anybody because you know, just just imagine if it was you and you felt like you did not fail RP. Somebody comes and, and puts a ticket in, says you fell RP, and nobody has proof of it. Yet we just said, oh well, you know, whatever. We're gonna give you a day ban or three day ban or you know, at worst, a, a you know, ultimate. And I hate using that word, but um, without video evidence, we're not gonna do anything like that. That's just ultimately because it becomes a he said she said thing. So, what if there's multiple but, witnesses that see it happening? But their again, brains are scrambled. Again, it's it's very, you know, it's very hard because I guarantee you I could probably, you know, go and get five of my friends to tell the same story. It's just something that um, we have to be extremely careful about. Um, so it is something, though, that we would discuss with them to try and find out what happened. But... You know, all I say is you, you can put a ticket in and, and we can look into it as much as we can and go and speak with the individuals that did it. So, but as far as that goes, sometimes, you know, Superman's looking down on you, all right? He might be flying above you, checking out things what do, and, you know, if Superman sees you basically get killed or something like that, log out and then log in on <clears throat> one of your cousins, you're going to get, you're going to get slapped. And Superman hits hard. Mr. Superman, can I chime in on this for a second? Absolutely. From a character uh, role play scenario, um, I had an had a scenario uh, yesterday or the day before where like some of Carrie's clients profess they shot in self defense, and the uh, the officer says he witnessed it, but didn't have any other proof other than he witnessed it. That kind of boxed me in as to what I could do, like. I would really like to push for officers to have some kind of body cam for, for scenarios like that. Absolutely. And it's something that, again, kind of the same thing. We really are trying to push for that. Um, you know, we would like it, but again, sometimes it's just one of those things, you know, um, some people's brains can't handle it. I understand. You know, um, and that's just one of those things that, that it can't be a, you know, in order to be in a here, requirement. To, exactly. Yeah. Um, Is there a way to like implement one in the system? Like, no. No. Sorry. Um, we're looking at something um, that might be possible, but I don't have the highest belief that it's going to do what we hope that it will do. So um, we are looking at 
a script that kind of automatically does record, but we're going to have to see how that affects the city and everything. Right. Is so there because... a way with oh with switching your cousins? Is there a way to keep a track on it and maybe make that fifteen minute thing not just a hey make sure you wait fifteen minutes, but actually make it an enforceable thing? Or just um, have good RP and don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or maybe yeah, that's you switch characters point. for like thirty minutes after dying or something. For the yeah, Oh, my bad. For the recording situation, um, they don't have to stream like um stream or anything. Out of the character, my bad. I you could use GeForce Experience or whatever, and can't you just clip Shadow it? Shadow play. Yeah. yeah, one of those two, yeah. and just clip like the last like five minutes or whatever. Yeah, you could do it with BS. You can do it with Shadow play, but again, there are people's brains that just cannot handle that. So it's 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 just it's not it's exactly like what brains can't know, handle George Shadow play. It's not something that we're gonna be able to what. Um, you know, make a requirement, but you know, and this is look, this is again kind of how I said this is what you guys want to get out of it. I mean, you know, and no, if if you are caught doing that, you're gonna be punished for it because that is that is breaking a server rule. And if if we do catch that you're doing that, that you know, we'll come down on it. Like, uh, like the go on top of that, too, like. When I first came in here and I was uh, on my cousin, uh, the person I interacted with was a was a chimpanzee. Like I literally did a whole scene with a chimpanzee. <laughs> so it's like, like he said, you make out of RP what you want to make out of. It. So try to do the best you can to the knowledge of you can to RP situations out. Because I turned that RP situation with that chimpanzee into a really good, you know, RP session, and it was it was fun for me and that person. Right, I Yeah, and I want to say like with the cops too, like you know, if you if you give the cops the good RP and you're not just like screaming at them and like you know just like calling them names and like stuff like that, you you will, there's a good chance you'll get less time. They're not gonna throw the book at you, but. If you're like being a, you know, if you're like just rude as fuck, then they're they're obviously gonna hit you. Like we we want good RP out of such every situation. I will say that uh, the admin team, if we uh, if we notice or witness uh, fail RP, and admin has the right, and we'll stop RP. Pause the RP scenario and uh, warn the person that has held RP and then continue the situation afterwards. That will be a thing that starts to happen. Yeah, Leroy. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's got this buddy. Oh, Lord. Yep. He'll get there eventually. Um, first of all, I'm not Lee Ryan. <laughs> it's Larry. Um Whatever. I, I just had an idea I wanted to bring to the table. Um, you know, zip ties, like make it something craftable like with like a bunch of plastic or something. I don't know. That seems like it goes in the idea channel. I did, it's just it's never responded to, so so I was just I am whispering, so don't worry about that. I'm going to say what I just said again. <laughs> um, so, just wanted to bring up if I watch somebody or see anybody just run into a clothing station, stab somebody, and run away, you're going to have some problems. It's not RP. What? Um, you know, please have RP reasons for everything. That, that's another thing. Yeah, midnight. Um, <clears throat> Superman. It was just brought to my attention that, that happened. You fucked so up. I just wanted to get it out. <laughs> um, as far as our next topic, just so you guys know, in the Discord, 
there is a section for um, buying properties. That property section is going to be for shell houses, which means a non MLO house, which if you need an MLO house, which I'm taking a guess on is multi layer freaking something or other. Um, basically a house that you can walk into anything that is a multi layer object and is a house that you can walk into, that is a Schmeckle house. Um, so that would be a donation. Um, Fruits please judge. put those in donation. Yeah. Um, the Bowl people that are here. working really hard to get through all of the, you know, property side of things. Um, you know, it's it just makes it a lot easier if, if those MLO houses are put in donation where we can look at that because they are some, you know, a different side of the team that looks at that. So at this point in time, uh, we would like to ask you guys to kind of talk amongst yourselves, think about this for a couple of minutes, and eventually, you know, we'd love to hear from you guys on, you know, what you think the most critical things are that you think we need to be working on right now, uh, just to make your lives even better in the city. Sorry, and... I got one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the five minutes of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> if you already got one, come on up. All right. So uh, I've just been thinking, it's been an issue. I think everyone wants it fixed, uh, the hunger and the drinking issue. Uh, I want to open a restaurant, so I, f I feel like that would be a critical thing needed. Absolutely agree. We are definitely working on that. Okay, cool. I just, just make sure. Yeah, I will just tell you, so on that aspect of things, just to kind of give you guys an idea, um, that is, that coincides extremely heavily with a EMS script. Uh, so that's one of those things that, you know, there's certain things that we need to, you know, there's, there's multi layers to a lot of this stuff, um, you know, just fixing the food and the health, or the food and the water, um, you know, we need to fix the EMS script, or we need to work on the EMS script a little bit because we don't want, you know, you to get into just a consistently dying phase. So, um, but that is definitely something that is high on our list to, to get figured out. Awesome. Hi, right, can I come up? Or... Yeah, come on up. All right, so... Oh, okay. uh, I know, yeah, well, let me just get to that really quick. Yeah, go ahead, change man. some yeah. of the crafting away from steel, because everything takes steel and an absolute metric shit ton of it. You know, is there any way we can, I don't know, figure something out with that to where, like, instead of, like, smelting it, you can, like, craft it, like, adding two of the other materials together or something like that? We will write that down and look at that. I got an idea that goes with that, actually. I do a lot of scrapping and stuff. Not, I, I'll be honest with you. I spent literally four days last week mining and scrapping I can't hear and it. doing all that. And to be honest, uh, it doesn't uh, seem make sure like... You're make shouting. sure you're on shout. Okay. Is there... Okay. Is that better? Yes. Yeah, much better. Okay. Yeah. I do, I do a lot of scrapping. I've probably spent four days straight doing this. Uh, it doesn't really seem like you make a lot because, honestly, the only thing you really get is, like, the steel. You know, uh, if you can incorporate maybe the copper, like for wiring for the cars or something, you know, something like that, where you can raise the price. Because I, I can't, I have nowhere to sell it to but an NPC for the copper and the iron, you know, the aluminum. Sometimes they buy the aluminum and stuff, you know, it just depends on whether they need it or not. But yeah, I, I, I've literally spent four days, like 20 hours a day working on this stuff last week and hardly made anything. Okay. So, um, what do you currently do with it when you get like copper and all that stuff? I, I end up having to sell it to an NPC usually. The, the usually the the steel sells great, and you know but that's about it. Sometimes the aluminum sells, but like the copper, I mean, I I don't have anything to do with it. I haven't built anything yet. I haven't done anything dramatic. I've been in here about a week and a half. That really, I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to keep a yeah. clean record and do everything by the book, I guess. You don't want to throw copper at cops. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I got you. I think yeah. that's knowing the right people. I think there's definitely people around that will buy everything. Yeah, but I mean, the price and stuff, you know, it's, sometimes they're not on or whatever, you know. I, I'm on periodically and stuff. Yeah. I, I'm breaking character for a second, but, you know, I mean. Oh, this is all, hey, guys, this is all OFC. Don't, don't worry about. I worked a lot. 
and stuff. So I was like, I had a week and a half vacation, and I joined the server, and it seems like a real great place. I met really cool people. Enjoyed it. You know, most so far, it just sucks because it feels like I'm just burning time. We gotta yeah, I know get it's like switching time, but yeah. Well, there's a, there's so much to do in this city, and uh, you know, people gotta venture out more out of their uh, their box or you know comfort zone uh, to find stuff uh, to see what they acquires. Because as a mechanic shop, we do use the copper, but only to a certain extent on certain things. Yeah, yeah. I, I just grind a lot, and I get on one thing, try to grind out to make money, do stuff. Yeah. Certain yeah. are more expensive than others. Yeah, so like there's other jobs that you could grind out that you'll make way more than what you're going to do with mining. Gotcha. Yeah, but I do the scrapping of cars and stuff. I kind of try to, I guess, keep myself around a certain area doing certain things. I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I try to get out about it. I've been uh, several times over. So just to clarify, let's just look into the, the items provided when you scrap cars. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So one thing I'd like to see if it's possible is um, possibly other types of jobs in the city. Um, I know we have farming and a bunch of new ones coming in. Um, one that I was possibly thinking, because I know sometimes we can get annoying with the Ravens news up in the corner. Um, but having like an actual website or in-city actual news facility that we could use. That is, yes, that is already being discussed. And a towing business. So just don't spend yeah, And Twitter. a towing business or other jobs of that nature, just so you have more options. And I think there's like five to six of them right now, um, just so you have other options to do to fill your time if, you know, it's a, it's a light day. As a mechanic, okay. you can uh, go on duty as roadside assistants, and uh, people can do slash mechanic or uh, to GPS. So what he's kind of saying, though, uh, some people don't want to be a mechanic. They just want to do the towing part. Yeah, yeah, something like which that. I, yeah. Which I've which i heard you guys kind yeah, of like, come in and talk to me about stuff like Like when like the that. cops so, impound your shit. Yeah, shit, so like say like a... Not just yeah, cars like, parked oof. illegally, you can just pull it off and make some money yeah. from, you know, maybe the station or something. Right, right, right. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, oh, you're fine. That was my question. Uh, Y'all seem to address it, so thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I was wondering if you can, like, make a state amount for, like, when you're um, burning your, your uh, items, like coal and copper, steel, iron, all that. You can, it's random. I've given it like four in a crushed storm before, and I got not one piece of aluminum. Like, you guys make it so like it's a certain amount you get for crushed storm instead of it being random. Unfortunately, not. Uh, then that is a I random chance. Be random. Mm. That is why it's RNG. Okay. Thank you. Keep my number. I get a lot of aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you got to RP with some other people. <laughs> I mean, he kind of touched on what I was going to say. It was, if it was possible to make it something selectable on what you wanted it to smell. But you just answered that. Huh? It is a great long way. I've only said it about a week now. And, and I can't hear him. Make sure you're shouting. We can't hear you. You hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, um, I've just uh, I've been on the server for about a week now, and uh, I've just noise. noticed that um, the only job really what pays uh, out for these sort of players is like farming, and it can get a bit grindy. You know, you end up becoming like farm simulator because the other jobs don't pay as well. If you just got it, there's a bit more balancing throughout the job, so the pay sort of equals to give like new players to the uh, city. You know, a bit more opportunity to uh, try different methods. You know, I don't agree with that. Um, I think farming is one of those that um, I think it is a little overpowered at this point in time. Um, there's a very good chance well, that might get brought down a little, a little bit. Um, you know, I'm not sure if you tried the courier job or if you tried the gardening job or if you tried the yeah, I've done, garbage I've done job. Even worse. To, be, yeah. to be honest, net worse. Like, yeah, it's just like a bit of a base rate, so they're all similar. Oh, yeah. Made, you know, if you time right. 
So they're well, always, I mean, there's going to be some that are going to be a little bit better than others and a little bit worse than others. Um, you know, and, and it kind of Don't bring depends, up the fishing. You know, how, how you do that as a player. Um, it's going to be extremely hard for us to be able to be like, okay, every single job is going to make you know, $30,000 an hour if you're constantly doing that. It's just really hard because it depends on, you know, a lot of it is RNG. A lot of it is just kind of, you know, some players can do some things faster than others. Um, this we is... realize that there is a little bit of kind of like the quintessential meta side of things where it's like, hey, farming, if you just sit there and farm, it's going to be the best money per hour, you know, for this. Um, we can't keep people from necessarily figuring that out. And <clears throat> um, I do agree that we, we do need to look at a few of those jobs and kind of we need to get them a little more closely balanced. Um, but no, there will always be a little bit of a difference, of course, you know, up and down between them all. Yeah, that's cool. Man. I just think, like, you know, as new players come in the server, you know, it just gives them a chance Absolutely. to play, you know, do a, bit, a few more different jobs throughout um, their day, yeah. isn't that? Anyway, no, you're well. 100% right. Absolutely. Yeah, touching more on that, I feel like um, I, my character doesn't dive deep into the illegal side of things but it does feel like the legal versus illegal balance i feel like there's a lot in favor of just staying legal right now versus which maybe i haven't you know just gotten deep enough into that and seen you know the deep part of the pool yeah that's one of the things and my other re reiteration is i i'm not trying to tell anyone how to rp but i you know i've seen so many cops run red lights without sirens or, or lights on and i'm like <laughs> I was pulled over for, for red lights, and then they're running red lights. Who's going to pull them over? That's, like, the things I wanted to get off my chest. It, isn't it? No, you don't have to oh, the police wait for the move. light to turn green anymore. You just treat red lights as hop signs. They're not even stopping, though. Chief, can you clarify? It was even sideswiped yeah. by one. Like, what? We do need Unless they're going on, like, a drug bust or something yeah, so like that. Be a little different. Defund the police. Oh, no. So, uh... No, I, all, all, all the police I've made, I've had a lot of fun with everyone, you know, don't get the character confused with the person behind the character. I think oh, they're all great. I meant all of them if you like them all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, okay. so, when it comes to the cops running the red lights, um, I'm sure all my officers can attest to this. They were, uh, they were just told about this actually today again. Um, and they were informed that there will be repercussions if uh, any of them are seen doing it. Um, it is not above the law. We just enforce it. So if they're if they don't have a well enough reason to be doing so, they shouldn't be doing it. So they will be enforced. And uh, if they're running red lights and uh, you know speeding, you know, and they don't have at least their lights on, then that's you know that's going to be an issue, and it that will was, be addressed. And that was one of the main things like. That, not running a one or a two, you know, if you're running a one mm -hmm. or two, yeah, go ahead, because I want you to do your job. If you're just running it, you know, no, running exactly. it I don't understand and, that. Uh, they, were, they were told about that, and they will be continue to be told, and uh, from this point on, uh, after the announcement was made, they will be uh, disciplined for it. And um, the other thing is uh, we've kind of created a new tool for uh, everyone else in the city to uh, now obviously don't abuse it. This is a right given to the city um, by the police department because we, you know, as the chief, you know, I'm sure you've seen we've had we have ranking officers here and there, but uh, we don't have, you know, I, I can't be everywhere is basically what I'm getting at. And, um, right. you know, I can't see everything that happens. And on the topic of body cam, I am going to try to encourage all about as many officers as I can to use body cam. Um, but that comes at a price too um you know if you guys really want body cam uh run by cops i'm all for it but you also have to remember the criminal aspect of things where you know that could work in a negative favor of you guys so just keep that in mind when we you know have this conversation but on the aspect of you know <clears throat> the pool um on the pd website i believe it was uh oh, we shit. added it yesterday right. there is a formal complaint form there now um, you can head over to the PD website, right. and uh, I believe under the PD information tab, there is a formal complaint form. Um, you guys can fill out an entire complaint against the entire PD yeah, or just a black officer. Um, just don't abuse it, though. I mean, now this is not to right. be used. 
this is not to be used out of RP. You know, if, if you guys see a cop running a red light, you can totally, you know, write a report on it. Um, we might want to see some evidence of that, you know, when it comes to things like that. And so definitely try to get mm-hmm. evidence if you're going to file a report. But you can always file a report there. Um, I encourage everybody to check it out. And it's just a way for me to be able to check in on things if people are unhappy with certain situations and how it went down. They should um, get more scrap like for police cars if you're able to scrap them. That was basically my. I cannot confirm or deny that's ever happened anywhere. (laughs) Oh, at any given time. Oh, so I was just wondering maybe if it's possible to obtain like a catalog for the car dealerships, so that maybe some people can flip through them uh, when we're not attended at all, or they can just because I've been asked multiple times. Yes, you have a catalog. if anybody does not know this, PDM is a catalog. Yeah, so, that's what they, they do that. Or a way to test drive them when people are offline. So we cannot do that. Um, unfortunately, um, we'll run into a situation because it has happened in the past where people then take test drives, do robberies, take test drives, go and just basically create consistent mayhem with them. Um, that again, that's... Ever. Huh? I don't think that would ever happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it's kind of a good role is, play, though. I know. I, he, Rob a burn. Yes, bring except, it back. I mean, you can't. You wouldn't really be able to test drive a vehicle if somebody wasn't working. It'd be better role so. play to rob the dealer on the test drive. Exactly. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. because you would not be able to test drive a vehicle, you know, IRL by just walking into a dealership with nobody working and just taking a car. <laughs> that would be a little <laughs> problematic. Um, but we day, are going to be bouncer. We are going to be working on um, it's, this is going to take a while. I just want you all to know this. Um, we are going to try and get some nice photographs of vehicles um, to be able to post on our website. So you would be able to kind of see them on the website. Um, but that is going to take a long time. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, we have over 600 custom vehicles in the city uh, and it's growing. Um, so, you know, building a website with all of that is, is going to just take a long time. All right. We got another little idea. I don't know if this is possible in the city or not, but um, I know in real life, if I want to listen to like a police scanner or fire an EMS, I can just download something on my phone. So possibly make it so, like, I don't want people to be able to talk while the police are doing runs and stuff but have it so that people can listen into it, but not talk. I don't know if there's a way to do that. But say that again? I'm trying to get, so you want basically to be able to spy police? Like a scanner, police scanner. Well, yeah, like a police scanner. You know, it goes hand in hand. You know, anybody with a phone nowadays can download a police scanner. Um, I'm not technically wanting to spy on them, but as, you know, mm-hmm. Okay, as a news network that we're doing, it would make our job a lot easier if we could understand where the cop or where the calls are going, and what's it for, so we can rep- report accordingly. That would be for for the news. I would so, say that would be a good thing. So yes, and news always finds a way. Um, oh my god! So, I, fucking love I mean, it. Find a way. It's so, just we oh get pulled god. over if we run through red lights and all that other stuff, trying to keep up with them. So so. What Possibly when you're looking at the news station, that could be something that, you know, if the news station does become a job, that's going to be a way the job would be, we would have to look into that very heavily to see if we would allow them to have that. Because the ultimate, our ultimate goal for a news team would be, uh, I'm not going to lie, a streamer that would be able to stream live kind of news going on in the city that we could put up onto like a billboard or something like that. Um, that is kind of one of the hopes and dreams that we always had for it. That would be insane. Um, well, so, I can stream. I just got to get settings corrected. So that is a possibility. So, um, you know, it, this is something that, that's ultimately a possibility. But as far as really kind of giving you a police scanner, um, it's, it's most likely not going to happen. Just just, that, that, that just wouldn't be fair for the police because we're not giving the police something to spy on you guys, you know what I mean? Like For like, regular civilians it would be OP in my opinion but for like the well, news yeah, agents civilian, yeah, I could see. I feel that. But we're trying to start, you know, Raven's News Network as everybody is very well aware and are irritated with us. We're just trying to keep everything fair and I feel like that would be an extra step. 
But That's very would interesting. it really be the OP for the for regular Isn't civilians it? to have it? I mean, we already have locals pinpointing where we're at when we're doing bad stuff. Um, 100%. So it, it would because knowing, you know, if the police are at a certain spot, knowing that it, it would be, um, you know, it, it's definitely, you know, you can get a lot of stuff done in a short amount of time and knowing where the police are kind of at all times would, you know, basically make the police lives harder. Um, I'm just going to let you know, police, police catch like one out of every 10 people. So, you know, that's just, just to let you know. <laughs> yeah, kind of the yeah, yeah, I have been in other cities where they had police scanners and the cops were just so frustrated with it all yeah. the time. Which I definitely understand, you know, maybe not everybody should have it, but certain people, you know, it must come with an understanding even if it's just, um, I you know, think just we saying, just hey, idea. you can be on X channel, because I don't remember what the exact police channel is. I don't think I'm supposed to know that, but you can be on this channel, but if you talk, your privileges are gone, you know, for certain news networks or whatever. Um, if you can get on that channel, you are more than welcome to utilize it. It is blocked. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> is there a, a way? <laughs> would there be a way to allow them to see the pings that go on in the city when like something happens? Yeah, there's like another one. Every, every five minutes, like you. Hey, the news is definitely okay with getting pinged. So is it only the police that you're going to patrol, or are you going to do other news? Like, you know, I mean, this we'll mechanic do. shop uh, doesn't know how to, you know, fix a car, or like, you know. Oh, Raven's News is definitely open to put Whoa. anyone out there. So I got no offense, we'll... like, all I've kind of hear is, like, the cops. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to. Yeah, and the last of an attorney in the list. If, if you don't mind. Um, so what I will say is if we do a... If we do do a news team, most likely is it will not be associated with a gang. I'm just gonna str I'm just gonna state that right now. Um, it would be Weasel News, and Weasel That's News fine. would be its own it's news like team. Government job, I think. Um, exactly, it would be a government job. So that is understandable. Oh hey, uh, my name is Zoe. I've only been here for like a week and a half. But uh, well, your I opinion do... doesn't matter. I'm just kidding. I'm totally. <laughs> I'm just well, uh, the one thing that I've noticed is the garbage job does kind of give out a way too much money. I made like fifty thousand dollars in like an hour, and I think that shouldn't be possible. But another <laughs> thing, you do. I feel like the police should have better cars because I've ran from police, just cut down two alleys, and there, then I was just gone. Like, they just can't keep up with me. Oh, and for like RP. I'm just saying, like, for RP purposes, like, a fun oh, police chase is a fun police chase. Right now. I'm going to tell you right now, we are 100% going to be working on that. That is, that is literally almost on the top of the list. Um, we will be, we will definitely be working on it. It is 100% uh, on the I'm a testing. The cop cars well, actually suck. I've been a yeah, cop for too all clear, though, You can only make a car so good until they can't drive. <laughs> so, well, I've only been a cop oh, You were like, saying the cop cars were not good, correct? Yeah. yeah the cop I cars some of them are very slow. That's what, that's, what he, or that's what she was saying, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the cop cars are absolutely not at the spot that we want them right now, and they will be getting work on to be better. Um... So that is something that you're 100% correct on, and we will be working on that. Well, to be honest, yeah. it's not the only issue. Like, turn radius on those things is like correct. driving a fucking semi truck most of the time. Yeah. So we're aware of it. Yeah. <laughs> Tracking it for a while. It just haven't been got to yet, but it will be. I mean, another thing with cars are motorcycles. I mean, I feel like motorcycles are getting faster than like 100 yeah, especially some do, I... some don't. Um, are you talking about the locals or the custom? No, like a ninja, like a, like the third. I mean, some of the top fastest motorcycles in the world. So, so let me ask you this: a ninja is definitely what, what, not that. What, what would you? Well, think? the BMW 1000. What would you, what would you think a ninja should go for speed? Just give me, give me an I idea. Mean, well, um, I mean, just so that you know, at least the governor is what is at 120. 
the world. What's the CC size on that engine? Throw a quarter. So what yeah, are you what are you saying the top speed? Like one fifty, you know, something like the A class. Yeah, like S ones will be two hundred and ten. So what are you? Yeah, so what it's are like you a seven fifty. I mean, like I've driven those motorcycles. There's, there, I'm pretty sure they go one fifty. Yeah, they go one fifty. The fastest one, the SR one hundred, only goes 150, and that's downhill. Okay, what about so the I'm gonna let you know a little, a little hint too on some of the motorcycles, and I'm not gonna talk about all the motorcycles by any means. Um, not something that, um, you know, I'm really gonna go into. But you have to remember, most of those motorcycles handle much better. I know some don't, so don't, you know, bring that up. I know there are situations. Um, but they can also go places that police vehicles cannot. So, you know, if if it's just one of those things that you want the fastest vehicle to be able to do the best stuff so you can always 100% of the time get away from cops, that's not going to happen. No, no, no. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's risky driving a motorcycle. I was going to say, motorcycles were made with a, kind of ba- with a kind of balancing element, if you get what I'm saying. Obviously, every vehicle in the city was kind of slowed down at one point, including the motorcycles. And as as he said, with the the point that they do handle better, they do brake better, they turn better. Like you know, I mean, the only risk is of crashing, obviously. But um, I mean, that that was kind of a balancing mechanism. If motorcycles yeah. start going like you know, one seventy, one eighty, two hundred, then it's you know an issue. Not to mention, um, when motorcycles are in police chases, what can the police do to stop them? Because any time a police officer goes and they basically have to follow the motorcycle and stay with them as long as they can until the motorcycle makes a mistake. Because if a police officer hits a motorcycle, the biggest shit roar starts happening with, you know, the crim or whoever's running or whatever. They basically stand up and say, you know, you're not allowed to hit me, you're not allowed to do that. So you have to understand there has to be a balancing act with all of this. I think to balance it, the PD should get bikes. The PDs have bikes. Okay, the PD bike is trash. I'm just gonna gonna throw that out there. I think if we have bikes, we'll be able to balance the chases when it comes to bikes. It's like you said, we can't can't pit them. We have to chase them. And it's probably like a 1% chance of us actually catching any bike right? That's because they crash. <laughs> so I just will throw this out there. There is zero way of the police vehicle that we currently have as a motorcycle being able to be edited or changed in any manner. Um, but we will discuss if we will go and try and find another police motorcycle. We will discuss that. Good idea. Yeah, police, police motorcycles as well, though. Like, I mean, let's say like we only have one officer in, on duty in the city, which happens quite often. If you're running away on a bike, what's the odds of an officer bringing a bike? Because how are they supposed to put you on the back of the bike and like bring you to PD if they arrest you or whatever? Like, you know what I mean? Like things yeah. get things get stick things get sticky in that situation, and it's just hard to predict like if somebody's gonna be on a motorcycle and stuff. If you get what I'm saying? Just stay inside the same limits. You don't get better with the bike. It would have to be something similar. Well, I think if the cop has him, he should just pull it out when there's like three, or four officers and he sees him. He's by himself. He should have pulled. It so one of the other used. ways to combat um, just for the police, but this does take more police officers, um, which again is one of those things of growing the city, um, is the helicopter. So Air yeah. One would be something to kind of help out, but if we have motorcycles that can go 160, 180 miles an hour, a police helicopter would not even be able to chase. No, nothing. I don't know if it's uh, you can do it. I've been working with Zuko because he's on PD once in a while and he gets bored. So I try to call him out to as many calls as I can because I guess they don't see our calls and we don't see their calls. Maybe if you can link the calls together so if there's a hostage situation, he can just automatically come out from where it is and I don't have to keep calling him and uh, getting each other postals all the time while we're on the road. This way uh, the paramedics are a little bit more involved. Uh, Chief? No. I mean, um, I, I agree somewhat with that. I think that you know, it'd be nice to have EMS and some other calls um, just in case. I mean, it would lead to a lot better RP because the EMS could do other things like maybe some psychological exams as well as uh, just checking people out to make sure they're okay after a pursuit. I mean, everybody knows well, like, even, cool even, yeah, everybody knows even on like a foot pursuit, you know, somebody could get hurt doing that. Um, they get tackled to the ground. EMS always has to check them out, but I'm not sure. In my opinion, I think PD and EMS kind of need to still stay on separate channels because the channels can get kind of clogged up. 
Um, I'm not saying about the channels. I'm just saying that they see our calls. Like when we get pinged on our dispatch, I think they should get the same, and we should get theirs. Because he'll go on a call, and he might need backup. Or like we have a hostage situation. So today, Zuko took care of the hostage while we chased the criminals, right? Instead of one cop staying behind. Yeah, that's true. Well, um, I guess I mean I guess it's true, but also I mean like this doesn't get called in any any ways without like a scene of secure either way. So it's not like they're going to show, you know, to those calls for that right. reason. You know what I mean? That's, that's why we have the radio. The, R, the RP uh, aspect behind that, you know, well, EMS not going into the situation. Well, Steph, I agree with that because no, on, while uh, we, people were running from the cops, the EMS was running across the road and we had to dodge them. So, like, you know what I mean? That's, that's uh, technically RP wise, if we're sticking to rules here, you know, EMS would be in an unsafe situation, which shouldn't happen. You know what I mean? That is kind of a little switch that's of roles the point there. Of, that's the point of being able to we'll, access each other's uh, radio. So channels. We'll, we'll speak with EMS and PD separately on this. Um, we'll we'll kind of get together with you guys. Just don't want it to continue too far on. Um, I disagree with that. So, Carly, did you have something? Or no, Mrs. I I I was just going to talk on it, just like from an EMS Can you give your opinion? I want to hear your opinion. Um, I just basically think that like we, um, like from EMS standpoint, we always communicate with G when we need help. And if we happen to hear that they need, they're going to a certain type of situation, um, they either radio us and be like, hey, I'm sending you a location. We need you here. Or if we check in on their radio to see how they're doing, um, we'll be like, do you need us at this scene if we hear something over the radio? So okay. I, I don't, do. personally, I don't want to see all their, their like dispatch that they're going to have because they get dispatched 80 million times a day. <laughs> and it might just get confusing with the EMS ones that right, we're right. consistently searching for a medical emergency kind of thing. Cool. Uh, one other part of that, for a lot of you guys who don't know, one thing that could be interesting in the future for like PD and EMS wise is we do have the ability to have dispatchers. Like when the city grows, dispatchers would be pretty cool to have eventually. So like in that case, the dispatcher would be able to hear both channels at all times and be able to dispatch accordingly. Like if there's a police call and they were saying, you know, hey, That's we're having this issue with EMS, they would be able to contact EMS and let them know where to go, you know, those things. So that could be something in the future instead of, you know, having to cross calls and give each other calls and things and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's what I like to hear. Oh, uh, finally, I did it. Finally. <laughs> I apparently did not like your idea. Oh, fuck. Get him, crew. I think on the PD, on the PD topic, like, I think they just need to be more, for RP purposes, utilize EMS. Well, that's what I'm saying. Just implement, implement us into, yeah. You know, Especially like, in poor cases, they should be on the call. There's a hostage situation just waiting to block down the road, right? But these guys, um, it's point. just very hard to switch channels while you're in a race. Or like, right. chase. Well, like, that's, so that's like what Steph was saying. We have the tools to be able to combat that. You, we just need to place someone in the role, you know? Okay, cool. I just feel bad for them. Some of us are standing around and getting two calls, right? At least, like, today was Zuko. I would call him and say, can you just come over here? We have a hostage situation. Then he took care of the hostage. And then I backed him up on some calls. It just made it more interesting. That's all. I'll be honest, just to kind of wrap that thought up, I mean, I would love to include EMS in more calls, but um, and, and we will if that's what the city wants. But let's keep in mind, um, I'd say about 8 out of 10 calls that we get or where we arrest somebody. Um, and we would like to have EMS come down. Um, the first thing they do is start complaining about wanting to be jailed and over with already instead of just sitting and enjoying, you know, it's part of the RP getting arrested. I mean, in the questioning and going through it's EMS. A fucking blast. And, you know, we get yelled at to hurry up and do our jobs quick because they want to get out of there and get done with their sentence. So, you know, keep that in mind too. Um, you know, and then after all that processing takes time, you know, we've been trying to cut down on times because of processing. Uh, and how long it takes and then you know some people dis decide to complain on you know how much time they're getting after you know wanting to rp it out you know so it, it's just one of those things where if you guys want more ems to show up to things and rp things out then that's fine but we can't expedite the process then 
Well, I'm thinking we should just have like uh, three or four different time limits for whatever crime, if it's serious crime, maybe like say 40 months or 50 months, whatever you guys choose, and then go down from there. Like just have like three, four different options instead of you can 65, 85, 95. You know, just yeah. make it more simple. So again, that. all right, that's here we go. So that's over. Um, we will get with EMS and PD separately and discuss that so everybody doesn't have to sit here. Um, you know, at some point in time, I think we all want to RP, but uh, I do want to ask if there are any other um, discussion points that anybody else had. Speak now or forever hold your peace. How do I know? How often are we have these? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> uh, we're thinking about doing these bi weekly. Awesome. Uh, you want them more often? I will do one every day for you if you would like. You no, get cards every day. Post it in the channel, like the minutes of the news. Can you give Kenny three minutes? Oh, for, for anyone that just for just before you speak, there, buddy. Um, before everyone leaves, uh, if you have any other questions you'd like to come into the Discord, um, us devs will be willing to talk more on any, any topic you'd like. So just let you know that. All right. Go ahead. So. So I, I love the strap thing that you guys had. Like, you know, you could see someone armed. I knew it. Like, you're not going to be able to do that right problems. now. I'll just, I'll just stop you there. We have an issue. Um, does not allow the flashlight to work. So um, we can't implement that yet. We're still working on fixing it. We would love to get that back. But that is something that just unfortunately can't work right now with, with our flashlight situation. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? I saw somebody else standing up here. All right, everybody's done. All right, so I'm gonna roll for the car outside. It is a, an LFA fully upgraded. Uh, if you're not here um, to hear your name, then you don't get it and I re-roll. Oh, look at the teddy bear. Are you giving the teddy bear away too? I'll yeah. take the teddy bear. No, this is Cornelius. Okay, I'll yeah. take Groot. I should have played, is it too late, Tanner? I'll have Groot as my prize. Everybody wants group. All right. So, Five time. everybody get ready. <laughs> it keeps going lower than it needs to. Drum roll, please. Mm. Pops Luciano. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> It <laughs> ended up being uh, number 88, Cody. Yeah, oh, that's, that's me. It. Congratulations, Cody. Who is it? That's me. Look at this. Alan there Mark. you go. He just won the car yesterday. Rigged. Yeah, he just yeah, won the did. car yesterday. Lucky ass man. Well, you have the choice if you want it or you want to re-roll for everybody else to have a chance. Can I just and... give it to a friend? Yeah, keep it. Rigged. Give it to a friend if you want to. You better charge him $10 million. Get me out of here. Oh, how much I do you believe that car is signed by Pop I can't get a... God, fuck oh. shit. But, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll get it. I'll get it. Yo, car show out. at the uh, vineyard on the 29th. Car show at the vineyard on the 29th. Car show at the vineyard on the 29th, guys. Can't be going through those. I got a gun on me. Lawnmower boys, lawnmower. What the fuck is this? <laughs> you get knocked down. Let us shoot him, motherfucker. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Yo, watch where you're going, man. Oh, you want to? You want to ride? No, I'm good. I don't want to ride. No, I don't want to ride. No. <laughs> Smash it into you. Ask for a ride. The balls the man has. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been dead if I didn't jump. <laughs> I saw that coming. As soon as I saw him whipping around the corner, I'm like, oh, fuck. 
Yeah, it's like, yeah. So, yeah, that's another Ford Mustang right there. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is not fucking great. Shoot the motherfucker's tire. Whoa! Don't shoot anything, man! Don't shoot anything! Hey, get up out of the way! I heard that! <laughs> is everybody off the land of the peace? <laughs> oh, you know it! We're about to get to the house. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have fun. I'm gonna fly on out for the night. I'm tired. Y'all have a good one. All I'll right, have a good one. Time. Later, Ray. Buy a bike. What are you doing talking about shooting my tires out? The fuck? Oh, I didn't yeah, see that. Oh, up. Yeah, I heard you. Uh, you. Was that? The passenger can't pull a gun out anyway, so. <laughs> you, you can't. I think you gotta pull it out beforehand. Yeah. Or, or yeah. it's something weird. Oh. You gotta roll we your mouth back. That's what it is. For what? A little money in your pocket. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? You just take cars as you please, huh? I mean, I'm the boss, right? <laughs> just look at all. Look. Do you not see the freaking pile of freaking scrap all up and down oh, the you fucking got it. driveway? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you ran behind the pole and just did Yeah, I saw that. I was like, wow, you guys are terrible drivers. And the boat too. <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Wow! What the Excuse fuck? You. <laughs> I just ran up to my vehicles. This is why I needed to go get some steel and shit. The shop kind of needs it. Ah, uh, I just got to last. It's easier. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't have cash to put in there. Pops was giving me a ride in the limo, right? From the garage, eh? <laughs> He's like, oh, there's champagne in the back. I was like, oh, is there tuna back here, too? <laughs> he's like, he's like, well, you know, I got enough tuna already. Somebody shoved something in my pocket the other night. <laughs> Dude, that tweet was great. Which one was that? The okay, guy was like, yeah, I ate it. <laughs> you were like, for oh, fucking kidding. <laughs> I tried to text somebody for uh, to buy a new car, but I don't know, they haven't responded, so I guess it's not for sale anymore. God, what the that is the helicopter I seen up there? Get this car out of here! There we go. No. <laughs> ah, 
asshole. No, come on, put it. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Shit! Shit! <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. The motor is broken. You're paying for it. Asshole, the thing I haven't even stored in this garage yet. It's at back fucking garage eight. <laughs> Fuck you. Why is your car not stored here? Because I just went to the freaking. What do you call it? I just parked at a garage eight. What the hell did I get a hatchet for? <laughs> from, for the town hall? Look at my fucking car out there. All right, guess I gotta go find a way to garage A. Oh, hold on, I got. Where's, where's the golf cart? Of course it is. Oh, look, a helicopter. Heads up, that helicopter's not working. It's about to be working. Ah, oh, fucking bullshit. I can't even get in it. Right here. I was able to get it. <laughs> I heard he respawned it though. Don't need me to get that car out. Who the fuck? What driveway is this shit?
Yeah. What? Yeah, I need my car. I don't see it in there. <laughs> well, oh, it's in there. Looks like you're going scuba diving. I know it's in there because I hit it with my boat. Oh god, yeah, it's way over here. You ain't getting that. Right there, right there! Oh, dude, you had that. Oh, I killed him. Uh, see? <laughs> no, you didn't. Now we need a tow truck for the tow truck. You know, someone just gave me a ride to Garage A, you know, we wouldn't have an issue here. Actually, if somebody, you know, wasn't trying to get my car off the side, we wouldn't have any issues at all. I did give you plenty of time to get it out of there. And you ended up driving off the ledge, not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just staging it for a photo op, and then you decided to go... Oh, photo op, huh? It's okay, I'll get my own way. I'll get my own way to town. Hey, Ow! To town like Fuck! I ain't even seeing this! Holy fuck! Christ! Do you want to play it this oh, way? God. Shit. Come back! Some new teeth. Christ! Shit! Holy fuck! Christ! Shut up, fool. Holy fuck. Yeah, holy fuck is right. Christ. Shit. Holy.
cops around? I've been hearing sirens. Fuck it. Radiator took damage. What? Jesus. Fucking garage and get my car back. I was just there. Yeah, I'm quick. Probably gonna be getting off shortly. I was hoping to do a little bit more, but that meeting was a long time. <laughs> Don't have any idea how fast you're falling back, back, that, back, that. Yeah, God probably about 130, 140. <laughs> problem? <laughs> You're fine. There you go. <laughs> take my glasses off, I take your hat off, bitch. Hold the police off and leave the force. Here we go. <laughs> oh, God, this thing's giving me a headache. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me out. Is it really? Oh, no. It's a yeah, fuck that Let me take a look. I think your brain's just fucked. Yeah, my brain. Like Miami Vice. Hey, when did the water line turn like a hard line like that? I don't remember that before. Yeah, that's different. Can I get some more turn angle, please? Jesus. Hold your space muscle. Oh, son of a bitch. Really? I don't know, but I thought it was control the whole fucking time. Got those speedboats? I guess I gotta get one myself. I get the headache coming back to back. I might just like reset my 
shit. Yeah, I'm having that same issue. Just at some Advil forehead. I said just take some Advil forehead. Forehead? What? I think I'm gonna get myself a blue one of these. Good luck. Hey, good luck. Why? Why it's good luck? Gamble. It's a gamble. Huh? You don't get to pick what color you get. Oh, really? Bye. It's not right now. That's bullshit. That oh god. Use your space bar, Bob! Use your space bar! I feel like I'm I'm missing out here. I'll be back. Oh, she hold on. I might as well just boat it. I'm going to boat to the uh Oh no, I need a I need a freaking bank anyway. Where's the Where's the point for this? Oh, there it is. Pull up four hundred thousand. You know, I've yet to freaking drive that boat. All right, let's go. entrance. Oh. 
We'll get white. Ah, oh, it gave me red. all over the water. Holy shit. And so a lot, a lot of us have other characters, and one of her characters is That's Brianna, right? EMS. What? Brianna, or whatever it is. Uh, I think so, yeah. Yes. So, her cousin is Brianna, but the the woman in our group isn't her. They got stripes going on over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's the rainbow. <laughs> I was trying to get a white one, but. Have you ever tried to pull one of these into a garage? What do you mean? One of these boots. Uh, what do you mean though? It's too new. Oh, it uh, doesn't work. Wait, you tried it? You know what? They're fishing again. They're adding one, but it uh, doesn't work at the moment. What are you doing? I asked if y'all were out there fishing again. Yeah, I was on my way to the house. I'm pretty sure everybody is, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> 
my god, it's like a flipper pal. I might have a upload to I might actually have to upload to PC. Oh no, I guess that we're good. Alright. in the car, man. <laughs> Is there a problem with us fishing out here? I was just asking if that's what y'all will do and I haven't heard from y'all. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, maybe we're all dead. What do you think? I, I over here, I, I killed James and I killed David. You wanna come, you wanna be next? No. What? You can get either one of us if you tried. I don't know. Yeah, Oscar still has my goddamn gun. Oh, I forgot to t talk to some people. Uh, give me a minute. I, I can see what's up with that. Yeah, there's no rush on that. All right. Your whole uh, cowboy kid up wouldn't work though. Oh, we gotta kick that guy I out. He doesn't have a boat like ours. He's not matching. Who is this? I can't Aiden. Look. That's Aiden. Ah. Well, hey, Aiden. You I break my some some mob. Oh. <laughs> 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 when you grow, grow, grow up, do you, you want to be like us? Fishing is really peaceful. Oh shit, I was, gonna, I was in whisk mode. I see no <laughs> sense in having one of those boats. I have oh, yeah, there is. One of those. I have one of those. I'll land right back to the fish spot and just fill it. Yeah, but how, how, how fast does that actually get up to? Why is that one? Like, <laughs> like, uh, 148 is the highest I've hit. Yeah, see, this one doesn't go much faster than the boat that I bought for 50000 which I don't understand. Yeah, that one doesn't. The Jet Max or whatever? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I bought it as well. Yeah, I wish I'd have known shit. you were looking by one. I would have sold you mine for like 50 off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, fuck that. You can buy my speed boat. You can get it up to yeah, almost 80. I'm trying to get rid of. Hey, can I put the speed boats in the used car section? <laughs> I mean, you put uh, mine in the front yard for sale. You, you, you could probably mm, put it in Tiscordia oh, yeah. for sale. Yeah, in the vehicle section. Yeah. You might have a little lock over there. already caught over 100 fish today. What yeah, building do you need to unlock? Big right graphite. Ooh. Sorry. We're gonna be getting off here soon. Ooh. DW, you need a, you need a smelt uh, coal again. So when you mine coal, you need to smelt that in the smelter. And you'll make graphite. Oh, graphene. Um, you need the chemical facility. So any of the items, when you look at them in your like uh, 
in your thing, your mech, when you're um, being able to like build things in your mech. Um, you can click on the item or hover over the item, sorry, and it'll tell you all the details for it. It'll tell you the recipe for it. It'll tell you what building you need to make them in. Um, like it'll tell you all the stuff for it. I just realized I mean, how I fish. I lost my fish. Yeah. Well, I like this because you can, like, everyone as you do it. And put on some music and, you know. Yeah. Which I, I'm about to do. I gotta put some music on. Damn. Oh, uh, David, will you s mm, s send me that live stream so we can have music on each end? Mmm. You have to forgive me as the COVID. <laughs> I wonder how you went about getting out with the thermometer. We went to work the other day. Oh, shit. Yep. I still have no clue how I got it. Nobody around me had it. Yeah, maybe 15. Anybody need supplies, let me know. All right. Buy a bunch. <laughs> God fucking shit. Guys, go out here and do this all day. Yo, can you believe that they wanted to friggin' have the the EMS and police on the same radio shit? That's bullshit. Yeah, you know that way they all know what's going on and they can. You know. Yeah, and and that's that's exactly what the fucking problem was last like yesterday. Freaking every time I pull out a drowned person, the, the cops and the EMS were there. I'm like, what the fuck? For a drowned person, I got cops? On certain scenarios, because the EMT should be there, but in others, no. But at the same time, I mean, you're pulling the EMT. What if something else happens while the EMT's sitting there on the sidelines? They leave the scene. Yeah. Well, you could be on the opposite side of the whole city at that point, you know what I mean? Yeah, the knuckles will actually be able to do that too. Is it ID and me? I kind of like my idea is, you know, if something happens, well, for the, for like news people, where 
they're able to see the pings instead of being able to hear, you know, the uh, walkie talkies. Yeah. So let them see the ping. Let them have to go and actually investigate what it is. That first day, it's a robbery or a carjacking. Oh, the police didn't show up. You know, then that's and that's the story. You know, they just didn't show up for that. Yeah. All I know, the two people that were talking about it were the fucking the two people that I had a problem with yesterday. That EMT guy really ticked my brain. Like, oh, I gotta take you to the hospital. I'm like, I fell from there. He's like, oh, you fell from the sky. Why are you jumping off the rooftops? And all of a sudden, I'm like, dude, I literally fell from the steps right like there. He's like, I'm fine. I got, you know, I twisted my ankle type of shit. And he goes, nope, gotta go to the hospital. I'm like, fuck, man. Yeah, I get chewed up by a, a, a rotor on the freaking oh, yeah. helicopter. <laughs> and he just brings me back to life there. Yeah, that boat took all of us out. What boat? This boat? The one from last night. The one oh. in the driveway. <laughs> so, David, I'm gonna have to have you sign some paperwork. Oh, okay. In case you croak, everything gets, you know, tossed over to me. Why are you talking about killing me? No, you got the COVID, man. You're done. Oh. Only a matter of time. It's fine. Should have went into work, but I did Well, I didn't. I had more remotely. I woke up feeling like shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably got it from the nieces and nephews. They had it like two weeks ago. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot about that. Does it work for me, you good? No, I've had it before. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had it yet. Yeah, I think the same here. I have no idea. <laughs> If, if I did, then I had no idea. Hope you got O positive or O negative. Symptoms are pretty mild in those cases. Yeah, I have no idea what I have. I yeah, need to find out. I don't know what mine is. O negative, I'm good. Yeah. I probably am too. I, I like never get sick. This is a, this isn't is even bad like a cold or a flu I've had before. Outside of just congestion, I don't even have a cough. Like, I've heard like a mild cough, but about that. Yeah, no, I've heard you sound way worse. <laughs> I haven't been back in a while either. I've been back yeah, in mean, a while. <laughs> yeah, I've got mine. <laughs> so I had uh, the first time I had COVID, it was yeah, pretty much the same now. And then I got the vaccine done, and yeah, it feels about the same as it is now. It does look like this. Uh, yeah, flu, the influenza B was like the worst thing for me. I think I was down for like. Oh, yeah. Years. I remember having nasty fevers and shit, hallucinating about all kinds of crap. Well, it was that one year that I, it was the first year I ever got my fucking flu shot. I ended up getting A, B, and A all in the same. Yeah, yeah. 
That's why I, I don't take it. I get I get way sick and they're like, oh, that's not possible. I'm like, bullshit. The two times that I've ever been that sick has been because of, I got a flu shot. I don't know if the flu shot contributed to it, but it just happened to be that the year that I got my flu shot, I got the flu three fucking times. <laughs> oh no, mine, mine was in like the same week. I would Both say mine was about a month after getting the shot, so I don't think the shot was relative towards it. But I had never had the flu. But it didn't help you though, did it? <laughs> no, it didn't help. <laughs> Who's all in the playoffs this year? I don't even know. I just don't really, don't really keep, keep up with uh, any, 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 any except in, 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 oh boy. <laughs> I thought you were about to say instinct. What? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> no. I keep up with video games. That's about it here. It's been a while since you've heard any fucking new stuff. <laughs> right? You've been waiting a while, haven't you? <laughs> you'd be better off root for the boy the Bastard Boys. Yeah, I think they made a comeback, didn't they? Or yeah. I think they're yeah, still in tour some shit. <laughs> no, they came back, yeah, and then they're doing tour, like, little trophy shit. Or maybe it's not little girls. Maybe it's those older women that miss them. Where did our bastard boys go? Uh, I work with this lady. Old fucking women, yeah. I, I... <laughs> I work with this lady who's like, I don't know, maybe five years older than me, so to make her like 45. And she's like, oh my god, Backstreet and this and that. And I was like, are you old for that? I was like, they were in when I was like a kid. And even at that point, I was like a little old for it. And she's like, oh my god, no way. Like, every time that they have anything that has to do with them, I go to it. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck that. That's just weird shit right there. Like, how are you still in love with your childhood? You know what I mean? I don't think I've ever liked a band enough to even go to a concert. I've only been to one. It's like, I just don't like, I don't like crowds of people. <laughs> right? Yeah, I've been to, I've been to two and that was because I wasn't paying. It's like when we go play pool at the bar down the road, as soon as there's like more than six people in the building, like, yeah, I'm good. I'm going home. <laughs> Like, oh, my I'm gonna, I'm gonna, time to get out of here. Fuck I'm gonna go home and get on a massive, mo massively, <laughs> a massive <laughs> role-playing game. <laughs> As you see, there's what five people here. Yeah, yeah this is I'm good. Still <laughs> like, a town hall, I was totally uncomfortable. You know? <laughs> <laughs> How about real world in here? <laughs> town. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, driving center, that shit don't bother me, but, you know, no. closed spaces with a bunch yeah, of people. Yeah, like a bar full of fucking people, you know, like a club or something, yeah. that ain't shit, no. Yeah. I'm the same way. Unless my back's against the fucking wall and I can see the door, I'm hell. Oh, it's like, I, I don't even have, a, like, a, it's not an anxiety thing, like, I'm thinking something's gonna happen. It's just, I don't know. It's like, the ears all being used up, and like, eh, just, yeah, I'm gonna watch that. <laughs> yeah, I like to be able to, you know, hear people right next to me. Yeah, that's yeah. always the thing I've had. Like, yep. you go to like you go to a strip club and like the music's playing so loud and the yeah. ask you if you're gonna dance or something. You're like, I can't fucking hear you. <laughs> well, like Pop says, everybody likes to right ear fuck you. <laughs> I have a problem hearing to begin with. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like, the first time I ever got what we got sent to a damn strip club, like we were on lunch break at work, <laughs> and we walk in there, and my buddy come with me. He's like, he's like, I really say strip club version here or whatever, <laughs> and they all you know, they all kind of come up and give you dance and shit. Like one girl, I guess she was the friend who was really shy and like you couldn't understand damn thing she was saying. She was quiet. <laughs> I was like, I ain't trying to be rude, but I can't hear a thing you're saying. <laughs> Hey, David. That's my house, right? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Like, loud fucking player. 
Got to go. Until you opened your mouth. <laughs> oh, did y'all see me, uh, see me in a jet day? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the controls, I don't, I don't know if the controls have been tweaked. It's a lot more sensitive than it used to be. I only caught the envy. After. Yeah, it was, yeah, I tried to go under one of the bridges and I should have lined myself up a lot better than I did. I was thinking it was like flight simulator. <laughs> oh, that's what you get to fly a plane. You buy one? No, I went to the military base and stole them. <laughs> oh, shit. The actual fighter jet there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a big no-no, apparently. Imagine the weapons. What? Is it? Okay. Yeah, apparently you shouldn't be doing that. I do not re recommend doing that. I already said I wasn't shooting anybody with it. I was just flying around the base. I didn't even fly to town. Is that something they just can't take out, remove that kind of shit? Could be. I don't know. They were able to blacklist the dump truck. They should be able to blacklist that. They allowed you to use that truck actually, but then black wants it to a certain area, you know, they make a barrier area to pull or something where you can't take it out of the area. Yeah. Like it'd be cool to use the fighter jet to do air shows. Hey, Bob, do you know where the airport, like the air, uh, airplane store is? Uh, maybe? Yeah, like they said 99, but that's just where the three garages are, but like, I didn't see anything that I could walk up and do a buy function or see if they even have. I didn't think they had anything yet, but something was coming. No, you can get helicopters now. I want a plane, though. I'm pretty sure it's that blue garage at 99. I want a private jet. You want to go explore? No, I'm patient. I'm game. Uh, Money. I mean, yeah. you, I'll, give you, I'll give you. If you, I'll give you two tuna. Two. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I got a boat to pay off. <laughs> I just paid it off. What the heck? I'll move over. Heck yeah. I mean, I'm probably gonna be flying out pretty soon. I'm gonna finish up. Uh... Oh shit! Oh god! Oh my! So can you upgrade the boat or anything? No. Okay. Yeah, that's just the thing. Kind of how it is. What the hell? You nailed it. Man, I want to work on um, like a like a YouTube video. I'm I'm gonna try doing something. I'm gonna try doing like a, a top clips of the month. I'm gonna be doing that every month. I think. Hey.
I think I got seven more bait. All right, man. Oh, are you flying out after that? Yeah, I think I'm going to go sell what I got, and then I'm going to go fly out. I don't know. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty tired today for some reason. Yeah, I was like that yesterday for some reason. Yeah, I woke up with a major headache. Mm, you know, I've had one all, all morning, but it's finally high off. That's good, that's good. I don't even know what morning is anymore. <laughs> Shit. I wake, I wake up at nighttime now. <laughs> I know what morning is because I see it every morning. <laughs> yeah, that's when I go to sleep. <laughs> but it's like my daytime. My nighttime's like from five or six till about ten or eleven. And I'm I'm an hour ahead of uh, East Coast time too, so I'm east. <laughs> yeah, it's currently uh, just after midnight here. It's twelve ten. Huh? Yeah, you guys don't have the time zone in this time zone in the United States. Yeah, n no. Yeah, you're two hours ahead of me. Yeah. I honest, I honestly did know of a time zone an hour ahead of me. Yeah, land of Canada. Hmm. Yeah, Atlantic, and then it goes East Coast. Central, what mountain or some shit? Yeah, mountain. Uh, you got West Coast. Yeah. And you got Pacific time. You got like what? I guess what? Hawaii next or some shit? Yeah, I think we're in this, the Pacific time. I'm not sure. Hmm. They might even have their own with how far south they are, actually. Like, I, I'm not sure what they line up. I don't know, aren't they just, like, direct? Yeah, they're directly south of California, so, I mean... You Which figure now? that would all... Huh? Hawaii. They're west, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Are they all A west, lot west. Is, that, is it just that south and west? No, a lot west. Yeah, more. <laughs> oh, way west. Oh, oh, west. Oh, 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 why is closer to Japan than it is in California? Right. Yeah, then it's way west south, and yeah, so it's yeah. probably on its own time. It is. You have the zone islands out there and shit like that, and then it's yeah. Japan. <laughs> It, it is on its own time zone. They're like probably four hours behind or whatever of California, you know, or maybe, or would they be ahead even, like? No, I think it flips um, over Japan is the, ahead. Which, which part of the country, like, where does it start? That's ahead of everywhere else. You, you know what I'm talking about? Like Japan somewhere, I think. Right? Something like, like that. Like their morning is our midnight, you know what I mean? But it's like whatever time in the morning for them. <laughs> uh, that's too many mornings and nights for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy how the time zones work. You're... Well, it's... Kind of 
how New Year's is. Yeah, because yeah, it's it's celebrated in every time zone in the U U U.S. almost identical. All I know is I uh, I played games once with somebody that was 14 hours ahead of me, and that was kind of whack. Uh, uh, I play with someone in Australia who is yeah. 16 hours ahead. Yeah, it's crazy. That's what I'm getting. So what, which, which country or whatever it is that would be almost 24 hours ahead of us? Exactly, there isn't any you know, 24. Almost. I wonder what's the max, Tony. Maybe not even. Hold on. I think it would be, hold on. So there's a time zone that's currently 6.16 uh, tomorrow. That's the furthest ahead. 6.16 in the afternoon. It's called Kiritamadi. Crazy, you can look at the globe and people like you never really knew it existed in a sense, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you're not aware it exists, I should say. Yeah, it's a pretty big place. Yeah. Well, that was my last bait. All right, man. All right. Well, it was a, it was a pleasure fishing. Heck yeah. Hopefully yeah, we can fish night. a lot more before they nerf it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're talking about nerfing the... Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, the farming out of all things. It's a pain in the ass. The do. farming? The guy was like... The guy's like, yeah, I make like 50k an hour with the garbage trucks. That's a lot of money. Anyway. I'm just sitting here laughing my ass off. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, yeah. Shh, 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 shut the fuck up. I was like, uh -huh. I, was like I ain't saying anything. Uh -huh. I was like, uh, I made 200 <laughs> plus. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. I'm, I, I went to whisper when I'm like, yeah, I'm just, yeah, that guy's out of his mind. There's a couple times I had to go to whisper mode in the friggin' things. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah no. I was made sure myself was in with, bro. This dude has no idea what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah. Honestly. No idea. Like, <laughs> but that's banging. I'm in and in. is like nothing compared to every, everything else. Right. Like drugs, nothing compares to it. No. I mean, like even though that's fun, anything like that. Like the drug sells for what it sells for is really lacking. To be honest, like 
I don't care what it's made from, made out of, whatever. It's just bad money. I mean, because oh, yeah. you turn around and you're getting it cut into a certain percentage, you know what I mean? To where, like I said, we went, how much money did we all make dirty money? And then we didn't even make, what, say 100000 or whatever, maybe it would have been to all of us. I, I come think, out here for 20 seconds, it seems like, and make 100000 you know? Like, what the fuck? I think we would have made a little bit more money if it didn't go to everybody in the company, you know what I mean? Because it was going to people that weren't even doing, you know, the drug runs. Right. So. Anyhow. I know I found, you know, like, it, it seems like... You find like that acid and shit, and I was thinking, oh, that's gonna be really good money, but compared to this, it's nothing. Or mm -hmm. not the acid, but the meth and shit. And it was right. like, that was a whole process to go and do it, and then you had to find the place and then make it, you know? And it's like. Doesn't think. That's way harder than Bud, but yet Bud still sells better than Coke, and I don't understand that. Yeah, and even with Bud, you still gotta go and, and do the drying process and all that shit. This, you just go to the goddamn guy, grab your bait, and fucking go. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go sell my shit and go up for the night. Have a good one. All right, man. That boat's awesome. That boat is awesome. Oh my god. How many do we got? We got 29. That was like 150,000. Not too bad.
Oh shit, that freaking thing's awesome. I'm gonna spend a lot of time on that. Yo, that boat's fucking awesome. I'm gonna spend so much time on that boat. You don't even know. Hey, can we get uh, can we get a pickup at the arena? Yeah, I guess I can do that before I go out for the night. Alrighty. Where's the arena? Back in town, you know, um, 88. Oh, that arena. Okay. I'm 2.8 mile out. Try to actually make it to them. I gotta remember, those signs actually do a lot of damage for some reason to my car. It's going to be at 388. A what? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, on foot ambulance. Are you still at the arena? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming up from the arena. I'm trying to head towards the hospital. Yeah. Where the fuck are they? I'm ready to come up on 385. You at full speed. God. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Uh, we did a backflip on a motorcycle and I landed it, but it was a little too hard. Are and, uh, yeah, James me. just bleeding out of his ass. Where the hell are you going? I got stuck left, somewhere. I got stuck in some razor wire. There's no cops around. I'm going fucking full speed. It was a, it was a beautiful landing, though. <laughs> it, it would have been better if there was flat ground where I landed. <laughs> I, land, I landed in a spot where we couldn't get out, so I had to like pick him up and drop him, pick him up and drop him, climb him. Yeah, I feel like we were just here. <laughs> Some tint on my car. Have any luck with the planes? Yeah, bro, they want fucking stupid money for that. Like what? What are we talking? Like, just a fucking, just like a Cessna prop plane? I think that bitch is six million dollars. <laughs> Holy fuck! Come to the camera. <laughs> So they got like a private jet in there? Yeah, it's 12 million. Shit, I guess I gotta start getting more tuna. <laughs> uh, 
Howdy. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh shit! Insurance claim right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, I saw yeah, it. I tripped. I'll be it, with you. You saw it. You saw it. There's a there's a rock right here. No, pick mm -hmm. it up. And I tripped. Yeah, yeah. No, I got it on body cam. Don't worry. You better you better call Ray. Actually, I'm, All right. Ray yeah, yeah, soon, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get my gun. Give me a call. Yeah, my dash cam's got it. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Good. 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 Yeah, I installed the dash cam guys. on the car. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't trust people oh, on the hell scene. Yeah. Hell yeah. Are you stuck oh. in there or something? Wait a minute. Need <laughs> you to come to the exam. <laughs> Who the fuck is Stop carrying the guy. Who the fuck you hold? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. You would hold me. Oh you my god. Were you holding me in my junk, man? <laughs> I was carrying my junk. You know? It's oh, heavy <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Alright, where to guys? Uh back to the house. I think I'm ready to fly up. I was folded in half. It wouldn't let me move. <laughs> After seeing those airplane costs, uh, I think I'm just gonna retire. <laughs> right? Oh, fuck. Oh, that thing would be a sweet ear text, you know? <laughs> That fucking Prius had to be there. I'm pretty oh, sure he's thinking the same thing. You guys like the fly? Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, we did that. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. And you wonder why this thing is always in the shop. Well, it's already taken a hundred damage. It's an Audi. I mean, that's what they are. That's what they're made for. <laughs> uh, and they're awesome cars when they work. Oh, hell it's yeah. Very rare. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I own one. It's, it's a great car. Very reliable. Oh, they're horrible cars. <laughs> Whoa, it's got over 300,000 on it. Still <laughs> runs great. What kind do you have? A4. Yeah, that's 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 a, yeah, that's a grand stick of an Audi, you know. That thing's gonna last forever. Oh like yeah. Their flagship. Yeah, you start stepping up from there, you just end up with nothing but problems. <laughs> I'm looking to uh, upgrade to an S4 one day. Get that supercharged motor. Yeah, one guy. He uh, I think it was the RS that he bought at work. And he, I think he brought it in. Then every day we asked him about it after that. He's like, yeah, it's in the shop. <laughs> and then like two weeks later, he comes back with a GTR. Oh, He's like, fuck. yeah, I got rid of that piece of shit. That's crazy. He must have been unlucky there. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, I consider him lucky to be able to afford a you know, $200,000 damn GTR. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the car is always in the parking lot at work. I mean, he gets paid a lot or he gets working with overtime to pay for it. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, I like this house. Nice couch. It's very comfy. Yeah, but my music thing's gone now. It used to be right here. Oh, uh, yeah. What the fuck? Did they move oh, it? They refocus the sound system. Perfect. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good one. All right. Catch you later. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I hit the disconnect button. That's all right. I'm going to hit exit from here. All right. All right. All right. I know a little bit of a shorter one today. I understand, but, uh, oh well. Anyhow, I'm out of here for the night. It's been a good time. Oh, God. Let's see, uh, let's see who's on. Nobody's on. Freaking nobody's on tonight. It's crazy. What about in, uh, Yeah, man.
midnight. Yeah, nobody's... Like, I'm looking in the Discord. The RP Discord. I don't really see anybody. Tendrick's getting off. Alakum's getting off. Alright, no raid tonight. No worries. Anyhow, it's been a good time. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.